Shadowrun for the Sega CD. Uh, short recap. As short as we, I can make it at least. We were on chapter 6. Which I forget how, what the game calls it. It doesn't call it. Uh, they did Doom RPG 2 because it was iOS only. Yeah, I, I have both set up. The plan is to play both eventually. I also wanted to play Marathon, but someone else was streaming Marathon recently, so I'm postponing that for later. Anyway, um, we were in Chapter 6. And we were investigating this Aztec Expo that was supposed to have been like an expo for this company called S Technology, but they suspended the building of the entire expo to, to focus on this one pyramid and they put like a magic focus thing on top of it. The plans of the guy, like he wanted to weaken Japanese corporations. And uh, he figured that the easiest way to do that was to just blow up Tokyo. I guess it would work. So he's building up like this huge magical artifact power-up thing on top of this pyramid to blow everything to hell. And I had figured most of that out before the characters did. The game was pretty obvious with all of that. So we went in there with uh, Mao. Uh, tagging along in disguise with the Japanese branch director of that same company. He went in to do an inspection, he took us along, we separated, we went to investigate, and we had a bunch of of, of mentions of, of drops in the game saying that, oh, don't let curiosity kill the cat, and Mal is a cat shaman, so yeah, she's gonna get killed or get captured or something, and she did. She was captured, the final evil guy revealed himself to be the dude that hired us for the second or third job. And he had this fighter that he had hired that uh, knocked out Mao. And apparently this fighter was an old friend of the group. So she deserted the guy and came to us, told us what happened, that they captured both the president of the Japanese branch and Mao, and she joined the group, so she's taking the place of Mao for now, I think. And the idea is that we're going to go back in to try and release her. We did some other, more cinematic hacking to get information on the place to invade, so yeah, that's a lot of... a lot to process. And maybe we just go in, rescue her, the game is over. Maybe there's more, I don't know. I guess we'll soon find out. Yeah, very, very busy game. Yeah, I didn't even mention the fact that each character has a different stake at this particular pyramid because the evil guy killed the girlfriend of one of the runners. Uh, the group that he hired has a best childhood friend from another of the runners that he thought was dead. And they have... a prisoner underground oryx which one of our characters is a meta human and cares a lot about that so it's it's a tangled mess and you know it's these games are long we've been playing it for 15 hours and they usually are like a very long build up and then it becomes this tangled mess with a good satisfying ending which is what i'm hoping for so let's go over here yeah i think it's all in order yeah, hoping for that, yeah. I don't know if you've played uh, Snatcher, because Snatcher is like this game. It's a traditional Japanese adventure game. And at the end, on the Sega CD version that has an additional chapter, it's like, okay, do you want a satisfying ending? Here is a 30-minute monologue to explain everything that happened. It's freaking fantastic. Let me set up the translator over there. Let me... Um, pause the emulator. Okay, volume is loud for me, but it seems to be fine on the stream. Uh, let me press... Uh, I need to have this... Setting up my translation stuff over here. Uh, can you please not cover everything else, stupid Microsoft Edge? 
Okay, so if I start and I request a translation. Are you going? Oh, it was spinning my hard drive, I think. Sega! The future year of 2012, 2011. So if we go here, we have some Japanese text in here. It's Shin uh, Scenario. It's not chapter, it's the scenario. If I try to send this for translation... Mm. Try again? Mm. Uh, it's not working. Give me a second. I think I just need to restart it. Okay. What about now? There we go, went forth. There we go, it's working. We're ready to go. Scenario number six. I believe the second one is after Mao's capture and just before we were able to start shopping. Shopping in this game is absolute garbage because you can't see what you have. So. I don't know, this is Triple Z and this is Angel Clinic. Right, this is for the implants, this is for the equipment. Uh, let me see if I can sell because the guy has never allowed us to sell. What is he saying here? Hey, I've been waiting for you. Weapons and armor, leaving the modification of guns to us. Same dialogue. Oh, yo, Musifate, nice to have you back here. What is it for? What do you want? Okay, so this is buy, sell, and leave the store. Let's see if I can sell now. Oh, I can freaking finally, I think. You can buy a gun, but it will only cost about 70% of the selling price. He can buy guns. Yeah, context. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see. Hold, hold on. This is the translated image. <laughs> it put a... LOL over there, Google read it as lol. I always find it funny when Google does that. Anyway. Uh, how fancy I can just do this to replace with the translated version. So, so, so fancy. Anyway, he's saying he can buy guns, but he pays 70% of the price. Only guns? I have to go back here, otherwise it doesn't translate. Whose belongings do you want to sell? Uh, we can still sell Mao's stuff, even though she isn't here. Really? <laughs> yeah, we can sell her stuff. And it's only the guns. We can see she has... Yeah, everyone has the HK227 S variant, I believe. Yeah, let me make sure of that. That's a submachine gun that we... Oh wait, who is this? Isn't this Xion? Yeah, Xion. It's Purple Cloud is Xion. We've learned that. He doesn't have one of those weapons. That's weird. No, no, we don't want to sell. Cancel. And the head also has one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Let's see what we can buy. Uh, it's weapons, armor, modification, close combat. If you look at firearms... Uh, wh what did he say? I skipped it, I thought it wasn't important. If you want to win a battle, first thing you need to have is a powerful weapon. Fighting with your bare hands is like committing suicide. However, there are many different types of guns. Do you need an explanation? No. 
All right, you didn't need an explanation. This is what we're dealing with now. What, what type of weapon do you want? Is this a bunch of new types? It is. Why did... If this is... Okay, this can't be the last scenario. We only had these first three types over here. Now we have assault rifles, heavy machine guns. Okay, so we got this one before it's 1500 for everyone. This is 2500. 22, 32, and 52. We can buy three of these. Is it good? It doesn't look good. Uh, mm. Laser sight worries me. Because that means you don't really put a smart link. This one doesn't have any modifications. Oh, it's the same, but one of them has the modifications, right? I think it makes more sense to buy, like, one of these for Mao, because she can't use marking, because she can't use implants. And then three of these, and add the smart link to them. We wouldn't have money for all of that. I was, I'm also wondering about armor. What is this saying? No matter how powerful weapons are, if you don't have the equipment to protect yourself, no matter how many lives you have, you won't be enough. Okay. Do we have... Yeah. Oh, shit. Full, full suit. 10,000. Man, we can't afford all of these. We can't... We can't buy, like... Four of these, which is a partial suit, and we can't even sell those later. I think we kind of need these more than the weapons. Our weapons are kind of fine, but we're taking a lot of damage sometimes. And we can't buy full suits. So four of these, I guess. I'm gonna save on a different slot just in case. Powerful armor that combines thick protect protective plates. If you're going to be doing someone who wields a big gun, you'll probably need this level of protection. Do you want to buy this? Yes. Uh, who takes it, I think? Yeah. So one for each character. What? Would you like to buy something else? Yes. One of these. Four. Each of our guys. Then I have to remember to equip everything. As we can't do that right now. Wait, did did just refuse to sell it to Mal because Mal is not here? Unfortunately, that's impossible. Okay, but that makes more sense, I guess. So give one to the head instead. So maybe we don't control the other girl. Try your best not to lose your life. I shall. I guess we're going with this. I hope for the best. Giggle gum is deployed. Well, enjoy absentia. You're gonna be a little bit absent now. Just giggling on her corner over there. Okay, we're ready to go. Um, I think. Let's check the strategy again. All right, good recap. Two people using recognition badges sneak in through the underground drain and take back Mao. Right, we did split them into two groups. Yeah, I don't remember what the groups were, but we did split them. 
It was Rokudo with uh, D head and Shion with the other girl, I think. Trying to keep them balanced. The remaining two were are to secure a delivery truck and rush into the facility at different times. Um, and while attracting the atten attention of security, collect the two members of the advanced team and Mao. Let's go out when you're ready. We're ready. Ooh, look at the music. I mean, you can't look at it. But try your best, everyone. <laughs> yeah, this is just Rukud on the head. Man, listen to this. Looking with my special eyes. And such a good use of the Genesis sound hardware. I'm pretty sure this isn't CD audio. Really good stuff. The other side of this iron fence continues all the way to the Aztec Expo venue. I'm not an expert on rough matters. It's for my it's for my friends. So let's do our best. Hey, this guy just hacks into computers. Just a nerd. I wait for a small. Okay, it's a walking scene. It's loading. Okay, we can't walk in, in the water. So very limited options here. Exhausting the options here. These sections are like nothing because you don't really do much, you just have one way to go. So it's pretty unique for this kind of game. No. Oh found something he said and he thinks dot 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 ID Kakunin the recognition badge seems to be working okay these are the drones one of the reasons we went down here was because it had drones that they can be more easily fooled with the ID card A regular human would see that we are you know, not supposed to be here. So the ID badge the girl brought us worked. That's crazy, the search time is getting longer and longer. Is it getting dangerous soon? They're taking longer to accept the ID, maybe. ID Chukai Suga Ugmas. Who are you? Ah. How did you get in here? I'm a locksmith. And I'm a locksmith. Hello there, old school J. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow. Enjoy the emotes. Alright, so this is not him thinking this is the drone talking and the reason it's not translating properly is because it's uh, all katakana. So it, it, it because that's how they usually do robot talk in Japanese. Uzkimas. 
I don't know what he's actually saying, but do you have an idea uh I'm on a pool. Yeah, no idea. Kokokaratayo Let's see what Rokudo says. It looks like I'm finally on my feet, so let's hurry up. It's taking longer and longer for them to accept. It's probably gonna fail. Spectac spectacularly at a later point. And there's another one. Unlucky. Yeah, this is the robot talking. We don't know what it's saying. Hi Joe, hi Joe, hi Joe. Hello there, old school Jay. Glad to have you here. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, it didn't work anymore. Let's see if I can attack it from here. I can. Dice rolling. I think we hit, but didn't do a lot of damage. It wasn't enough damage. Okay, he missed. I got a mostly lurk, but church will long overdue follow. Somehow it wasn't already. I anyway, hope you're having a good stream. I am having a good, good stream over here. Old School J, thank you for asking. Thank you for the follow. And that's fine. I've had, honestly, streamers that I subbed to before. And then a month later, I realized I had never followed them. It was very awkward when the notification popped up. Uh, good shot, good defense. Ah, he still dies. Okay. Sometimes fucky stuff happens. May or may not be your memory. That's true. Did I do it? Okay, we survived. That wasn't so difficult. Let's hurry up. And here are a set of... Here's a ladder going up. We have finally arrived. There is no time to delay. Let's climb the ladder. Can I not? I can't. There, it's blocked. Just making sure. We are loading a different walking scene. Yes. Now comes the real deal. Let's brace ourselves. Right, we should find people in here. Got it. Let's go. Right, these are the rooms with the orcs that we couldn't open before. Looks like it's locked. Locked. Ooh, we can actually see someone. An orc? Why are you here? We were brought from the blockade area. It's a good thing we got the head in here. I was taken away by a trio of runners, right? The opposing team. The one that escaped. That's three runners? That's why they escaped violently through the blockade. They were taking uh, hostages. That explains it. Uh, two humans and a troll. Yep. I can't believe I'm wandering around a place like this. You came from outside, right? Ask, I ask them to get us out of here. Uh, there are people who are taken away and never come back. Alright, they're using these orcs to fuel the magic device at the top of the pyramid. So I can see this is a platform I wish I had explored more. I had one at the end of the 90s, but it never worked well. I th I think I heard that the Sega CD was a bit finicky some units, sometimes. It does have a bunch of hidden gems. If you like this kind of game, I would recommend you play Snatcher, which is a Japanese adventure game by Hideo Kojima that was 
localized in English for the Sega CD and it's probably one of my favorite games on this system. If you like this style of game. If I stay here, I'm sure I'll be killed. Ask them to open the door. Uh, well, let me see. Can I open? I want this localized. Yeah, I've mentioned when I first started. I forgot to start the freaking timer. Uh, 30 minutes, I think. Let me add 30 minutes in here. Meh. Never do math live. Okay. I mentioned when I started streaming this 16 hours ago that, uh, well, localized officially, no. But friend translation, there was one that was uh, in development and something happened to the guy and the team said it was on hold. So it might come out someday. Uh, Stranger Games have gotten friend translations. But officially, no. Uh, they haven't released Snatcher on modern systems. Like, why don't they have Snatcher on Steam? So this is definitely under the radar. Do you know how long ago? I think it was like one or two years ago that they announced that it was uh, put on hold. It wasn't too long ago. Let's try to open. Pen translations are more than fine. I played through the original Megami Tensei games with fan translations. I've played the first three Dragon Quests with fan translations. I don't have a problem with those. Okay, let's open the door. <laughs> nice portrait. Thank you, you helped me. Sometimes they do a better job than the official ones. Yeah, especially for older games, you get a lot of janky localizations because, uh, what they're gonna do, import it from Japan and translate it themselves to see we messed up. Kojima is a big enough name that any of his stuff could come officially or unofficially. Yeah, uh, Police Knots was never officially released in English. I do have the CDs of the fan translation of Police Knots for the Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn burned ready to go i should get like we need to get an upscaler which is really expensive and then a capture card but i could try streaming that some other year maybe i really do want to play that one from kojima as well yeah there is some hope music fate cv2 <laughs> i played uh, castlevania 2 i used the fan translation because I knew it would be a mess. It's still too early to rejoice. It's going to be difficult to escape from here. Dot, dot, dot. We're going to cause a ruckus upstairs now. Please do something about it. I wish you luck. Right, I think in the sense that they can use the ruckus to escape. We don't have time, let's hurry. By the way, I don't think we have the armor equipped. So armor would be the third item, I think. Yeah. Partial. Oh, did it automatically equip because it didn't have anything else? Yeah. Alright, that's good. Right. They have the armor equipped already. Maybe that's the reason the drone missed. I can play the original drone because I already have used guides for it when I was a, I was a child. And enough of it stuck me when I revisited in the Steam Collection a few years ago. Yeah, I did. I didn't play it uh, as a kid. I only knew of the fame that the game had, so I just got a fan translation for my first playthrough. And it was fine. I managed to figure the game out. I think the fan translation finished. Some of the unfinished content. Not sure though. I can't help you with that. I don't know. No. Uh, if you're talking about like the dungeons, like the final dungeon was still empty and weird looking. I think it, at least the version. I'm sure there are multiple versions. ROM hacks for that game. The one I took was just translating the text. And I think he had a save system from the 
disc version. I could be mistaken. I think I finished it in one sitting. I don't think I saved. If I didn't already know the secrets, uh, I will absolutely do the fan translation. Yeah, I think that's a fair advice. Is that an elevator? If only we could use it. And near the guards. Wait, stop there. Show your ID. We do have an ID. I don't think it's gonna roll. Looks like I can't fool. Okay, time for some fighting, which is fine. Let me position myself over here and kill some fools. Low difficulty, very good roll, very weak defense, he's dead. Fantastic stuff. We can even shoot again, I think, yeah. Very easy. <laughs> we just exploded his head. Yeah, missed. You dump. Yeah, I was gonna... I shouldn't waste my F word for the string like this. Easy. Even even for D head. And eh, he missed. Alright. Rokudo will do everything, don't worry. There we go. Alright. Well, let's use the elevator. I think it's funny that they had the bodies block the path, so every time after a fight they had to delete the bodies. Mm. So we are here, this is the entrance and this is where the magic nexus is. We have to rendezvous with the other team, the other team should be arriving at floor 1. My guess, at least. We can't go outside. Um, is everyone gone? This looks mostly empty. This was... this looked weird, but I still think it's nothing. Or nothing on this floor. Let me check the roof. Ooh, evil green color. Alright, none of these characters are sensitive to magic. So... They're not gonna receive anything up here. Alright, nothing here either. Come on guys, hurry up. They're blowing up Tokyo. You could find... Oh! Mao! Hmm. Have you... Uh, are you losing your mind? I found it. It's so... I don't know what that means. Come on, let's go home. Very soon there should be a bus to pick us up. Yeah, they're going to busting. But, uh, it looks like... Oh, she joined us, but I don't think she's doing well. Anyway, can we exit through floor 1? 
Oh shit. This doesn't look good. Not gonna die from that. Yeah. Oh, you are gonna die from that. Oh, maybe Mal can heal. Very good defense. Still took some damage. Oh, crap. Mm, I really need to take more shots with Rokudo. this we might be able to kill two of them before things get worse not with, not with this guy because he just missed can you heal uh heal very difficult we did not succeed and we got drained yeah. let's keep killing people Really need to get a couple of kills here. Mm. Very weak shot. Only gonna get one kill. Ah, we missed. Ah, that's bad. He missed? No, he didn't. Ah, gonna die. Yep, we're dead. And the other characters can't really do anything useful. <laughs> and this one will... Will die right now. Well, they're amusing, but not for long, I'm sure. Yep. Everyone is dead. And she can't shoot for shit. Yep. Game over. Unless this is scripted, but I doubt it is. It doesn't look scripted. It just looks unlucky. I wanted to spend money to improve her heal, but she was captured, so I couldn't. Yep. The party was wiped out. Do you have a checkpoint? Don't tell me I have to reload. Back here, everyone. Let me just see how much money I have. See if this was at least after I've spent the money. Yeah, okay. That was very cool. Okay, let's try to rush this. We can get there in like five minutes. Yeah, we are showing our ID to the drones. They keep taking longer and longer to approve it. 
And when you get to the final one, it doesn't approve it. And then we kill it to one shot and we keep going. Then we free the orc. We take the elevator, we go to floor 4, I think it was. Easy. We get Mao, we go back to the first floor and we try that fight again. This is only the second time we got up our party wiped out. Talk to the orc, we let him out. Then we kill these two guys, three actually. Not very good. Now he's dead. Nice dodge. Very lousy shot. Very good. Not enough, I think. No, that was enough. Then just clean up. No, it wasn't for three. Yeah. I thought that other girl was gonna join us. I don't recall her name. I guess she just gave us the information, wish us good luck. Let's just see if there's anything else before we go to the first floor. There was a room full of guards there before. Yeah, I'm gonna check it anyway. We could use some backup from the other guys. Yeah, anyway. Uh... Oh, we can't equip Mao. We can't see her status. That's a mystery. Okay, let's try going to the basement instead, see if we can escape from here. Although I think that's unlikely. But who knows, maybe it is... Oh, we can't. Alright. We don't have a choice. Okay. Attempt number two. Yeah, we... I can't... Avoid it in any way. Come on. Take a good shot. And... Uh, nope. Oh, Christ. Uh, that's... This is impossible. We needed to have at least killed one of them. Ah, it's already dead. Oh. 
use a med kit. And you can you maybe I wanted to again I think I've said this already. I wanted to upgrade her healing. But we couldn't do anything with her because she was captured. It would have been very useful right now. Well, maybe with some luck we can revive Rokudo. No. Holy crap. They are shooting at Mao. For some reason I thought they wouldn't. Well, the head is dead. I was gonna be dead pretty soon. Well, all she can do is keep trying to uh, get the guy up. Very difficult, almost impossible. And there they come. And it's done. Again. I don't think I have enough money for another implant. Although I could try selling some guns, but... Okay, this is what he has installed, I think. Uh, translation? Come on, translation. There you go. We have Enhanced Reflexes, Smart Link, and Cyber Eye. Yeah, we can't afford any of this stuff. Although that is skin armor. Oh, we can get one of these, maybe it helps. The special plate is embedded in the skin to prevent damage from shooting and fighting. This is different from normal armor and increases your physical strength. The higher the number, the more effective it is. Is this one okay? Yes. Well, let's start embedding it. Please have some patience. Now you can get new power. There we go. Easiest surgery of my life. Now let's try again. Maybe with a little bit more defense. You don't ha have nearly enough money to upgrade stuff in this game. We did make a bunch of ethical, moral choices that, like we did the morally acceptable option, but it gave us less money. I was kind of expecting a payoff for that. Still hoping for it. Um, Maybe some of the people that we helped would be back to help us back. Payoff was using your own self sense of self-worth. That's valid. Uh, <laughs> it, it is satisfying to make, for me at least, to make the 
good choices in the game. But... Still leaves you with a little bit of a bad taste in your mouth if the main lesson of the game is... If you're nice, you're just getting screwed. It would be very realistic, but... That's not why I play games. Oh, the thing's still alive. Holy shit. Kind of serious, kind of joking. Yeah, no, I get it. I've ever played this war of mine. I do want to play it. I do have it on Steam. I haven't played it yet. But yeah, from what I hear, it's... Moral choices everywhere. It's the only game I've ever played that actually cared about the NPCs. I have played some weird games where I wasn't ex supposed to care about the NPCs, and I did. Let me... Let me profess here the gospel of the best Final Fantasy game ever made. Which is the actual Final Fantasy X. Which is not called Final Fantasy at all, it's called Lost Odyssey. It is probably the best traditional JRPG I've ever played. It was made by the same people that made the Final Fantasy series when they left Square to make Mistwalker, I think it was called. It was released exclusively on the Xbox 360. I believe it's available on, on the on their Xbox online store or Xbox consoles in general. And that was a game where I did care about the NPCs, despite them looking stupid for the most part, and the story being very cliche. It was still like well written, it had some really interesting stuff, which I don't want to mention because of spoilers in case, you know, anyone cares about my recommendation. That game was fantastic. To give you good props because it made you care about the NPCs. That's a very good mark of a well written game where they make you care not only about the story but about the characters. It's not an easy feat, especially for us that are used to play a bunch of games and just ignoring dialogue most of the time. To the extent that I put myself in a bad situation to help them, that's that's nice. That's immersion. That does a better job than graphics for immersing you in the game. Usually you just see them as mechanics, even though I really like the characters. They were still mechanics to me. Yeah, at this point, when you've been playing video games for many, many years, you see everything as mechanics. There, there can be a... I'm grateful for this war of mine, making sure for them. Even if, even if there isn't a payoff, you like that. But I don't even know the characters, just hear briefly about their plight. There, there are some games that are like that, very few, but... Um, yeah, wrong floor. Wrong floor again. I hear those games from... Quantic Dream, I think it's called. Also supposedly make you care about the characters, like... Heavy Rain and Detroit, and wherever is the name of the middle one. I want to play those games sometime. A few times the game devs idea of what the ethical choice did not match my ethics. Oh, that reminds me of... Of what's the name of that weird FMV game that takes place at school that was made by a bunch of narcs that McCall was playing, where you have a bunch of weird ethical choices and half the time you make the wrong one because they're just a bunch of narcs. Information was withheld that they thought you'd just know. Okay, can we get a few good shots in here, please? If we could kill two guys... Uh, we only get one choice, one shot to start with. Which means I should probably not 
move. Keep my distance to make them have a harder time shooting me. This is very easy shot. Decent rolls. Ah, decent defense is not gonna die. Mm, we do get another shot. Maybe because we didn't move. Oh, it's one less guy, at least. So now you kill him in one shot, but now it doesn't matter anymore. I'm just fix it, I don't think about the game Kindergarten. But I don't think that has narcs in it. No, it wasn't kinder Kindergarten, it was something high. Like a, a school name high something. It's not that he has narcs, it was written by narcs. It's, it's very sanctimonious, that game. It's more of a comedy game, just kind of want to see the wild scenes, regardless of ethics. But this one was not comedy, but it did feel like one, because it was so... It was comical, really. Uh, come on, can you stop shooting? Uh, he's still alive. Uh, okay, he's still alive. What do we do here? We can't use a med kit on someone else. Uh, can you kill someone before dying? Can you attract their fire, maybe? Yeah, you're not very good at this. Well... Holy shit, you killed someone! Okay, can you... Heal a little bit, come on. And... There we go. Every time she, she succeeds, she can try again. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This might work. Come on! Throw the dice. Ah, shit. What, they're firing again? Okay, they're firing at the useless guy. Good, that's his threat. We have to use him as bait. Like kind of heavy-handed agenda over, over realism? Yeah, very, very heavy-handed agenda. Uh, it was like, let me see if I can think of it. Like, the dude is, is taking a test. He sees the guy next to him, like, cheating on a test. And then the guy leaves, the teacher asks him to stay behind and asks him if, if he saw the other guy cheat. And then you can choose. And if you tell he was cheating, that's a bad choice. If you tell him he wasn't cheating, that's also a bad choice, you lose points. I think you had to tell him you didn't know. And then still, when you go out, you have to tell the guy that the teacher wants to see him and you get in trouble with the kid for the rest of the game. It's, it's very dumb. Very fun to watch, but... Okay, everyone, kill, kill the elf. Kill the elf. Yay. Okay, just, just the elf. Just don't, don't kill anyone else. Okay, can you take two shots now, please? And can you kill people with those? You are missing. You aren't missing. Ah, that's not a good shot at all. Can you take another one? Nope, of course not. And she didn't get a chance to heal. We didn't get a chance to take a second shot. Crap. Very good defense. Just dodging bullets over here. Okay, he missed. No, he didn't. And we died, despite having much better rolls than him. Oh, this is dumb. Okay, we can't heal, so might as well use, like, some power ball. Come on, blow everyone up. I doubt you're gonna blow anyone, but... Yep, no damage. No damage. No damage. And we take damage. Because we suck. Yeah, 
And we're dead. I don't know what we're supposed to do here. If we could upgrade her spells... We got armor for everyone and that wasn't good enough. I guess it was a little bit there, I'm just gonna install Armored Skin Rokudo again. And you can see that we're a moment where Culprit is just sliding down his chair because everything sucks. Just disappearing behind the microphone. No hiding. I don't know if I can get up. <laughs> In a second, though. Okay. No being silly. I, I don't have the athletics required for that kind of maneuver. But that happens to me all too often, for real. Uh, it used to happen to me a lot more when I had my previous chair. It was a really piece of shit that I, I couldn't sit in it for more than five minutes without my ass just sliding away. So I had to prop my feet against the wall and it just ruined the wall over the years. I have a good chair I can actually keep proper posh keep proper posture. There's a tongue twister for you. Keep proper posture, keep proper posture, keep proper posture. We did, we did do better this time, maybe it's just a matter of luck. I just wished that you could use a med kit on someone else. Then we could have the head use med kits on Rokudo. Okay, strategy number two, we sent the head and Mao to tank shots. Just kill everyone, keep the one straight shooter alive. What a lousy shot. to release the orc, kill the three guards. So those three guards are extremely easy compared to the five guards near the exit. If we fail again, I'm gonna try to pick up Mao and go everywhere, see if there is an alternate exit that we can take. Why don't you take that kind of shot on the other guys? I don't think miss like that. Man, even D-head is 
killing in one shot now. <sighs> Straight to floor three. Mal doesn't talk. Cat got her tongue. <laughs> All right, let's try our new strategy. That's a good shot. That's a very good dodge. Did I really need to get the hardest guys? Okay, we do get a second shot with a miracle. Now they start shooting at Rokudo. He misses. Uh, he misses. Okay, that's a very, very good start. He missed with that wall. Huh. I don't know what's going on, but I'm not complaining. And that guy hits. And takes three. And he fires again. Okay, so that guy first. You come in here, take some bullets for me, thank you. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yes, there we go. That's. Thank you for teaching me how to ban people. Was that a good shot? That was. Ah, I can't believe it. Any one of those. Ah, uh, that's... <laughs> that's horrible. Uh, why is it so hard? Because the guy was in front of me, maybe? Okay, eat some bullets, the head. Good diet of lead. Oh, he's still alive. He can take more bullets for me. Nice. Dude is right there and is missing. Thank you, D-Head. And he missed. And he missed again. Let me shoot someone else instead. Good. He's dead. He's dead. Come on. Come on. Dead. There we go. Yeah, just tap on the head. Uh, hang on a second. Oh, she doesn't have her weapons. Shit. They took her weapons. Alright, that's why it's so shit. Ah, uh, she missed. gonna kill it. Okay, come on, we didn't take any shots on Rokudo. And they're missing her, which is also good. He's dead. Okay, right here. Can you hit him from right here? Oh, she can. <laughs> okay, didn't kill it. At least she can. And, and he missed. And he missed again. Really? I'm not complaining. I'm just surprised. Freaking finally. Okay, I think we're loading. Oh, we're back! Alright. That was faster than I expected. Welcome home, everyone. I'm glad you're safe and well. Yeah, me too, buddy. Oh, she's talking. I'm home. Maybe I worried you guys. Uh, home. Uh, he, he said yes or no, but yeah is home in Japanese, so 
I believe that with your ability you would definitely come back. No, oh, so he said he wasn't worried. Stop it. Praising her won't do anything. Yeah, that's... that's right. <laughs> we did was as it, what was expected of us as friends. Instead, Mao, could you tell me what you saw in that pyramid? I heard most of it from Murder, but Murder is the name of the... Uh, she has a name, I don't remember what it is. It translates as Murder or Kill. Because that's very edgy. And... Yeah, Google keeps translating it as, as that. It's whatever. Yes, I understand. Okay, can we put down a save before my power goes out and I regret everything? On top of the pyramid I saw a huge stone tablet. That's not just a stone, it was a huge convergence tool that gathered a large amount of magical power. Ooh, look at the art. <laughs> nice. And on the stone tablets were carved old words. Sun, power, plunderer. Right, right. The evil guide said that Japan was the... Uh, the nation that made of sun stealers. Like he has a very weird old prophecy religious thing against Japan. Because it's the nation of the rising sun, so they steal the power of the sun or something. Uh, the shaking earth and demon shaped monsters. It's like it's hinting at something. Right, they are going to destroy... The demons and the earthquakes are going to destroy the land of the... Plunderers of the power of the sun, something like that. From my memory. Ellen Deal said, Ellen Deal is the evil guy. Said it was a prophetic word. And he will fulfill that prophecy. Prophecy? By the way, the guy that went in with us, the president of the Japanese branch of S Technology, he was captured as well. He's there, no one cares. Well, they needed to sacrifice a mage, which was going to be Mao. Yeah, Andil did say so. Those who take away the power of the great sun will undergo a great calamity and trial. And yeah, that's the prophecy that Elendil mentioned. I will build a stone altar in the land where the evil one dwells. Those who have received the power of the earth offer those who will inherit that power. Then the earth will not rumble, it will tremble, clack, crack and sink. The one who takes away great power will be swallowed up by the earth and our trials will be over. Uh, what does the one who steals the power of the great sun mean about this country? And Angel said he would fulfill the prophecy and destroy it. This is a stupid, stupid story. You know what, Sean? I agree. I thought so too. <laughs> but Elendil said... The strength of this country is supported by many companies. And what supports the company's strength is this town. Tokyo is a huge market and a living testing ground, which was explained in the intro of the game. 
there is no need to deal with all companies. The target should only be this town. Tokyo? Yes, just blow up Tokyo and destroy the competition. I don't know what he's going to do though. Ellen Dill plans to do something to this city. This stone tablet hasn't used all its power yet. I want to show you what happens when you unleash your full power. Even now that powerful stone tablet is still not working perfectly. He said he needed a sacrifice. If those words are true, I can't leave you alone. Or we can't leave it alone. Destroying Tokyo. It's a bit off topic, but since I've been involved this far, I can't just leave it alone. <laughs> As if by saying, yeah, I'm not getting paid, but I guess I'll save the town. It's a job with no pay, right? If... Uh, would you like to go back to Seattle? No way. In Japan there is also a word that means aborted ship. I'm still like this too. I need to do something in return for Elendil. Of course, I don't want to get off either. They're just discussing how all of them still care about this subject for one reason or another. And to me, from them, there's something I need to take back. It's decided. It's always Shun who says that they've decided to do something. That's right. What do you do about killing? Uh, what about murder, or whatever her name is? The girl. Yeah, here she is. She was just listening. I want to, to help you. Eh, I'm sorry. What I have to do now is... Uh, there is... She wants to help us, but... She has to do something, but she'll be back soon, I promise. Now, what should we do? For now, I think it's best to gather as much information as possible. Okay, another information gathering part. That's right, we are too far behind Elendil. We need to close that gap even a little. Um, a stone plate that collects magical power. Uh, something about wizards, his name is Alentil. Is this the only clue we have for now? No. There is data left by Amy about the Aztec Expo. And we also obtained, we have also obtained an identified program from the facility's computers. I'm looking into it more carefully from now on. I'm also concerned about the orcs who were held captive in the basement of the facility. There are people who were taken away from here and are not coming back. If if we stay here, we will surely be killed. Even so, too many things happened. It's true. I'll say it here today. I need to rest a little. Understood. Actually, I'm a little tired. I'm going to go back to bed and rest. Okay, yeah, let's all go to bed together. I'll take the time and do some research. Mao Chan is coming home too, right? I'll drop her off. Yeah, thank you.
It's ironic. I never expected him to appear before my eyes as an enemy. In the name of the samurai, I will completely destroy Elendil's plan. To thwart their plans. And to get him back, my brother. Yeah, each one of them is thinking about their own stake in this. Uh, he's thinking about the girl that died. He gets a call from Amy, probably. Yeah, he's calling Amy, I think. And now they're together near the park. Just throwing dots at each other. Say something, Mao Chan. Huh? Ah. Anyway, it's been a while. Yeah, they used to work together before murder or whatever her name is left. Yeah, I was surprised when I saw it saw you on top of the pyramid. How have you been? Of course, I'm always fine. And you? Yeah, I'm no different than before either. Yeah, I understand. Being too curious can lead to failure. Yeah, curiosity can kill the cat and all that. Well, it doesn't seem like I'm making any progress. <laughs> but I'm relieved that nothing has changed. Uh, by the way, I'm the same way, Shiro. She's calling her Shiro. Mm. But if this happens... I should have researched more about that man named Elendil. Right, because she was working for him. Uh, you can't help it. I never thought something like this would happen. You helped me, you helped me. that's enough. Uh, Shiro has always been a friend. Thank you, I'm glad to hear that. But I'm a little angry. I thought we could team up again. I'm sorry, but hey, we'll have a chance someday, I'm sure. I finally felt comfortable. However, when I think about the future, I can't take it easy. Let's take another look at the file that Amy left behind. Hmm? I only briefly looked at it, so maybe I missed it. There is a hidden part in her file. What is the name of what should be offered? Hmm? Something to offer. Right, the sacrifice. There were words like that in, in the prophecy that Mao said. It seems to have some meaning, but I can't help it for now. And there was a program that I got at the facility at the venue. Let's move it. Simulation of crystal manipulation induced by magical power? It's just full of strange things. Parameter settings for simulation. Number of donated bodies used. That's probably the orcs. Number of participating magicians. 
Personal Induced Magic Power. Ritual Time. What on earth is this? The data simulated in the past is also included. Let's read the latest data. Is this an earthquake? No way. Earthquake planning. As you can see above, we are beginning to see problems that we could not have predicted at the beginning. This on the left is Elendil. Keep reporting. Uh, yes. 80% of the processing of the body donation required for the ceremony has been completed. However, the magic power is not converging as expected. What is the current achievement rate? Uh, yes, please see here. <laughs> nice graphics. By the effect of the ritual, the growth of magical power has almost reached 100%. However, even after processing so many body donations, the degree of convergence is extremely unstable. In other words, uh, even if we perform the last ritual and release our magical power, there is a risk of spreading over a wide area. In that case, we will not be able to cause a disaster on the scale that we are planning. What are the measures? What can we do about it, I suppose? We have no choice but to increase the number of body donations processed. We have no choice but to offer more sacrifices and increase the degree of conversions even a little. Understood. We have no choice but to take countermeasures quickly. I'm sorry for your hard work. Please stand down. Yes. Call the black swans. Yes, ah yes, the other gang. Yes, I got it. That's the procedure and theory of the ritual should be perfect. There are no obstacles. That's probably when he sent the black swans to kidnap a bunch of orcs from the blockade area. Maybe I'm I've overlooked something. Yeah, here's here's the leader. Did you call? An inconvenience has a reason, and more sacrifices are needed. How quickly can you finish the work? It seems like I'm returning your words. The situation is not very good. Due to previous operations, vigilance has been heightened around the blockaded area. We are no longer at a level where we can maintain covert operations. If the operation continues any longer, the plan may be exposed. Give up? I didn't hire you guys to listen to your weak voice. Get it done no matter what. I don't forgive failure. Dot dot dot. What is it? Get started on your mission right away. I understand. I'll do my best. All I want to hear is reports of success. It doesn't matter how many soldiers you use, just start the operation quickly. So he's asking you to take voice acting lessons to get a strong voice for him to listen to. 
Yeah, that's uh, has a weird fetish. I should hire more voice lessons, more voice acting for my guys. I want to hear a very strong voice in my ear to put me to sleep at night. No matter what, I have to complete this plan. That's our long-awaited desire. Solid motive. I will destroy this city and fulfill the prophecy no matter what. Ooh. Ah, look at the meeting of the runners with the kid. The hacker. Damn it. We should have accomplished our mission. Now I have to take voice acting lessons. I risked everything to prepare as many orcs as we needed. What more can we do? I don't want I don't even want to do it anymore. But work is work. As long as we have a contract with that man, we have no choice but to do it, no matter how unpleasant the mission may be. Or do we abandon the contract? If, if we do that, we might not be able to do Shadowrun work. I don't mind that, but... No matter how many orcs die, we don't know. However, it is dangerous to continue the mission any longer near the blockaded area. It would be a shame to mess up such a boring job and lose our credibility. And the troll just remains quiet. I think the troll is, is Rokudo's friend. From when he was a kid. I have an idea. What is it? It's going to be difficult because you're trying to collect it from the same places before. What if I told you that there is a place in the city other than the blockade area where orcs gather? Oh, the orcs from the underground city. Shit, how does he know that? And almost no one knows about it. What the heck? What? What kind of shit are you talking about? <laughs> Take shit with it. I'm a genius at, at gathering information. There is nothing I don't know. Flare. Shut up that kid. The information this kid got was never wrong. It should be worth asking. Or investigating. Okay, just keep talking. But if you talk boring shit, I'll kill you. I'll twist your neck and kill you. Don't be so mad. It's amazing information. That is to say, the ground isn't the only place they live. Underneath the city, there are many holes that are no longer in use. What if the orcs who were driven off the ground set their sights on such a place? A hole that is no longer in use? Underground. Abandoned underground lines? That's right. To be exact, it's a place further inside from the underground line. The orcs are there. They've been not there from the beginning anyway. It's nice when the guy said uh, a hole that is no longer being used. And then Flair just replies, yeah, I have one of those. Uh, it doesn't matter how many people we kill. It's okay, if that story is true, it would be a lot easier. 
are are we really going to do that? Been a while. Yeah, they just want they just talk, work, and shop all the time. And one of them is a kid. The other one doesn't know how to talk, and this one is always angry. Of course, that man named Elendil. If you st if we stick to it, it will be interesting. All right, put down a save. This is still no. This is scenario seven. There is another chapter. Holy crap, we might not be finishing this today. I doubt this is the last scenario. I thought that we would, you know... Dude was ready to blow up the city, what happened? Well, if that's true, it's a pretty big deal. That's right. Me too, I'm still skeptical though. Anyway, there's a lot I don't know about that program. What do you not understand? Yes, Molson. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to get that unused wholesome action. And they'll be like, I don't know. How's the pay look like? Eh. There's no hacking involved. And the troll just stays quiet. Uh, and then she looks at the kid. Uh, this, is, this is... I might regret this joke. He looks at the kid and says, Aren't you the guy that knows everything about penetration over here? In fact, when we infiltrated the computer system at the Aztec Expo venue... I discovered a strange program. I might regret this joke. I love that you said that and went for it anyways. Reminds me of one of my first few streams where we were talking about some kind of... Some un unreasonable subject. I don't, rem don't remember what it was. And then I said, I'm not qualified to talk about this. But... And someone pointed out in chat, yeah, I'm not qualified, I'm gonna talk about it anyway. So there. I discovered a strange program. Simulation of crystal manipulation induced by magical power? What is this? That's a tongue twister. It appears to be a program that simulates the scale of and damage of an earthquake. Uh, and it's caused by magic. It's an earthquake caused by magic. Yeah? Create an earthquake magically? It's a story that I can't quite believe. The place I found, it, it, it was a place, so I couldn't just leave it there. If the place you found was a place. Create an earthquake with magic. Normally, that would be impossible. But maybe it's not impossible. Alright! <laughs> We've seen at the pyramids, if only I had the power of that stone tablet. Uh, Pyramid of Aztec Expo. I saw an eerie stone slab at the top. I'm gonna keep talking about the previous chapter for the next half hour again. As far as I know, there's a device that concentrates magical power, and it's an incredible amount. Even if you concentrate that much magical power, it's not something that an ordinary wizard can handle. 
The magician will be crushed before the magic can be given form. However, Enlendil was full of confidence. Is it really possible to use that much magical power? And that guy, he said there was a prophecy written on that tablet. Oh god, we're gonna talk about the prophecy again. Those who take away, I'm gonna skip it. Uh, then the earth will not rumble, yada yada yada. End of days, cats and dogs living together. Mass hysteria. Yeah, the one with the abominable satellite that gathers the power of the sun. And those who have succeeded in solving long standing resource problems by doing so. That is the person who will do great harm to us in this country. I am the one who steals the power of the sun. I have come to destroy you. To fulfill the prophecy and end the trial. Those were words I couldn't believe right away. But Anandil's eyes were unmistakably serious. I feel like that man could just do that. Dot dot dot. Yeah, everyone is like, Mao, can you shut up? And I, I am... The pyramid in the system? I found a strange program. You've said that again. What is this? It's an extremely large program. Is it a simulation program? We just talked about it. I'm curious. Let's secure it. Hey, it's the earthquake simulation program. How big an earthquake would have to occur to destroy Tokyo? The prog this program is for calculating that. It was probably a program left in the system at the Aztec Expo venue. And then there was another clue. Are we gonna... Okay, this is a slightly different thing. Ah, this is the data that Amy left behind. What was written in that file was Elendil. It turns out they were having another team of runners compete against us. Ah, this is a recap of everything. Again, Elendil is definitely preparing to cause an earthquake. We know... Not wrong at all. That's it. I'm talking about Emmy's file. Whoa. What? What is it? Did you find out anything? Yes. I'm really curious. Since then, I've played around with the data several times. There's still hidden content in that file. Surprise. Please tell me the name of what you should offer. This is your password. The name of something to be offered? Yes. If I know, if I can learn more about that, I can look into it. That's a very long conversation. What's more, there were many orcs trapped beneath the pyramid. We, we know we talked about that 10 minutes ago. It's probably the work of the three runners who fought us. That's part of Elendil's plan. But what on earth did he have in mind when he took away the orcs? Oh, Christ. 
The people who are taken away from here not coming back. If they stay here, they will surely be killed. If you say so, I have heard of it. There are rituals that involve sacrifices. Sacrifices? Yes. Uh, the life force of living things is deeply connected to magic. Conversely speaking, it's also possible to convert life force into magical power. That is the sacrificial ritual. Correct. Increasing magical power through sacrificial rituals. And the one chosen for the sacrifice are the orcs. Uh, probably, but there's something I don't understand. The reason they choose orcs for the sacrifice is... The lives of all living things should be essentially the same. I don't know about magic, but... I can guess the reason. What do you mean? Because orcs are... Do you remember the lockdown area? Orcs, elves and dwarves and trolls, we are meta-humans. We are subjected to unprovoked discrimination from humans. In other words, when, or when the orcs disappeared... I mean, no one cares about that. It can't be. Uh, that's the reality. Quite a few orcs have already been taken away. Humans aren't trying anything. Secure a large number of sacrifices without being noticed. It's hard to put into words, but the orcs were the perfect choice. Gather huge magical power by sacrificing orcs. Use that magical power to cause a major earthquake in Tokyo. How many times do we have to repeat this? Yes, that's what LND was aiming for. No shit. Still have more conversation to go through. Destruction of Tokyo due to earthquake. Cause an earthquake with magic. <laughs> what are you doing, game? Is that possible? However, from that expression, it doesn't seem like there's any need to ask. Recently, I've never heard of such a big magic story. But... When the magic had just awakened... American shamans used the magic to cause natural disasters. Enough to destroy an army. That was several decades ago. I know that story too. Indeed, if we could achieve that kind of magic... It is not impossible to destroy this city. That main alien deal was definitely serious. You've said that three times already. The stone tablet I saw on the rooftop was used to collect large amounts of magical power. Five times for that one? If sacrifice... Sacrificial rituals are added... To Alan deal enough to make the prophecy come true, I'm confident. Apparently, looks like we have to face reality. We're probably the only ones aware of this fact. Ellen Dill has everything he needs. Even if we say we're going to thwart the plan, how much time do we have? Where should we start with that? 
No way, are you planning on keeping your hands like this? I think, are you not planning on doing anything? There is a saying, conquer poison with poison. How about leaking information to other companies to interfere? I thought about that too, but there is a problem. Even if we borrow the help of a company and destroy their plans, now they'll just get the secret of the ritual. In that case, the situation remains the same as it is now. There is no guarantee that the company will not think about the same thing at any time. We get it? Amy left this information in our hands when she left. Probably because she had a hunch that... Well then, are you saying there's nothing we can do? I'll do it. I don't understand prophecy or anything like that. I can't let this town I've lived in all my life be destroyed. You can't just move, you know that, right? If I let you they do that, I won't be able to face the spirits of this town. Just leave. You don't have to face anyone. I think I said it before. Now that I know this, I have no intention of getting off. I also owe Elendil, no matter what. I'll destroy his plan with my own hands. As I said, it's the ship I boarded. He loves to talk about ships. Of course, I'll hang out with you. Let's watch it until the end. What about Rokudo? I... There's something I need to take back from Elendil. I'm not going to get off here. So yeah, all of this conversation just to make sure, yeah, we are not getting paid to stop the city from being destroyed. We're gonna do it anyway, but just so everyone is clear, we have good reason. Not getting paid, but that's fine. We're gonna destroy Tokyo with an earthquake. And it's always Shun who says that it is decided. Has no intention of getting off. Well, guess you can't rely on them to help with the whole mission. <laughs> no, <laughs> all right, no one is getting off. <laughs> and then Flair just sighs. But we're only just aware of the plan. Uh, they'll be well prepared. I think we need to talk more about how a magical earthquake filled by sacrifices is going to destroy Tokyo. I think I didn't hear that enough yet. It's not easy to outwit. That's right. We have to collect information anyway. It doesn't matter. Find a breakthrough from here. Sorry, can you repeat that? No one is getting off. Absolutely no one. I agree. I'm going to analyze the file that I may left behind. Alright, let, 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 let's take a, a quick look at that again. I'm not going to get off here. At least not right now. There must still be some hidden content. I'll look into the stone tablets. Plan and paying attention to the whole stories and not just portions that catch my attention. Of course, you wouldn't do that. Oh, you who pays attention to stories. I'm not. I don't blame you guys for that, because. Storytelling in this game was kind of fine, but now that they have, like, three chapters focused on the same stories, they, they're just running in circles. It gets annoying a little bit. 
Uh, maybe Tokado's old lady can figure something out, right, her master. And then maybe we can upgrade healing. What shall we do? Use informants and data networks. Yes, the same thing we do every time Shion says we need information. We should be able to track down the runners hired by Elendil after the orc abduction incident. That's right, understood. The problem with Mal leaving is that that could mean we're not going to be getting to upgrade her spells. Anyway, let me put down a save. I don't want to see this conversation again. I'm going to pause the timer a little bit and I'm going to uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom and I'm gonna get refresh my water and I'll be back in like four minutes so I don't go anywhere I'll be right back all right uh, we're back here audio seems to be okay let me not forget to resume the timer this commercial of the longest journey used the same music. Isn't that commercial the one that was playing? The one for that game that was never released? And that, like, they were asked if, like, can't you have some data to... Maybe someone can complete it. And they were like, no, we just made a few cinematics. We didn't actually make anything. Something like that. I could be thinking of another game, but there is definitely a Star Trek game that was like that from back then. Oh, where's my translation? Oh, here. I'll contact the informant myself. <laughs> yes, uh, hello, Rokudo-san. Do you guys remember, I think it was Alone, uh, Alone in the Dark, the first one where they published some screenshots of the game and they redrew the character's face on the screenshots because of course it's a bunch of ugly polygons so they drew like a cool looking, good looking pixel art on top of the face of the character for the screenshots they sent to reviewers and once they figured it out that's when they came up with the term bullshot so yeah it's game companies have never been a stranger to doing this kind of thing. Uh, there's something I want to ask you about the orc abduction incident that occurred in the blockaded area. Uh, anything is fine if you know something, let me know. Is this an, uh, about an orc abduction incident? There's been a lot of news coverage lately. Besides this... The police finally took a stand, though. I don't know why seriously they're... I don't know if they're going to investigate seriously. After all, the other party is an orc. So you're not interested in orcs either? Uh, no, that's not the case. However, there are people who know more than me. Information about that incident is about contacting the, those people more than me. I don't think they know more than you, the informer. What kind of people are they? Orc. Orc Human Rights Commission. It's... Orc Human Rights Commission, ORC. ORC? Is this an organization fighting against discrimination against metahumans? Yeah, that's right. They are also deeply connected to ordinary orcs. We must have investigated the incident. They must have investigated the incident in great detail. 
also distributing information to CircusNet. There's even a rumor that it's them. I see. For ORC, is this an incident in which a family member was involved? Yes. It is rare among orcs to have a central role. Apparently he's an elf activist. Elf? She is an elf woman who calls herself Mute. Uh, what should I do to hear from that elf? Normally it would be quite difficult. Uh, orc, they are very wary of humans. If you don't have strong connections, you can't make contact. Powerful connections. A D head is an elf, but has no connection to orc. But we can't afford to be slow either. We helped an orc escape, we helped the underground orcs survive. That should count for something. We have to get in contact with her somehow. Right, this is the time, gang, to have all our good ethical decisions come back and help us here. It's okay, rakudo san I'm sure you know a dwarf called Osafune, right? Yes. There was a small connection in the lockdown area. That dwarf should be your conduit to the orc. Well, we did save him. Osafune? The dwarf has the same various organizations. Orc is one of them. Osafune, huh? Okay, I'll give it a try. Okay, let's... We can talk... Right, net. We just talked to him. We can connect to the data net. Alright, let's access the data net. Welcome to Circus Network. The investigation into the continuous disappearance of orcs near the blockade area is underway. No strong evidence has been obtained to date. All anti-meta human forces considered to be strong suspects deny involvement in the crime. There are many unknowns surrounding the incident, and it is expected that the investigation will continue to be difficult. The perpetrator is believed to be an unidentified runner. Right, the people from the other group. Authorities identified this runner team, and they say they will do everything in their power to arrest them. No harvest. What they're trying to hide these days is... Is it because there's no longer a need to kidnap orcs? Or have they learned to avoid the danger of being exposed to others? It's either of these things. And they know the blockade area is dangerous now. If they didn't have to take away the orcs... One thread of chasing Elendil will be cut off. But if they don't kidnap the orcs, then they lose the contract with Elendil. Okay. Do we just talk now? Uh, orc or data net was in vain, but net's information seems to be relevant. Yes. However, uh, to hear from orc, you must first contact Osafune. Uh, I skipped that by accident. You should have known his contact information. Yes. You did thank me for helping him. He told me this when he left the blockaded area. I never thought we would meet face to face like this. Okay, so can we contact him? We will have to go there. 
Also fun as house. Okay. Oh, pretty. Let's take a look at this house. It's quite a mansion, isn't it? I can't imagine a dwarf living there. Yeah, everything would be out of reach. When I heard the address, I thought maybe... There's no doubt that the dwarf is more skilled than rumors say. However, considering the size of the mansion, security is not noticeable. When I met him at the lockdown area, he just said that he didn't like things. I guess it's not his hobby to be too ostentatious. Yeah, he did say he didn't like things, but a lot of times I didn't really know what he meant. Well, let's have a meeting. Yes! I want to meet Mr. Osafune. I'm sorry, but do you have a promise? Or maybe a, an appointment? Uh, no. But... Could you please tell him that Rokudo came to see him? Mr. Rokudo. Sorry, please wait a moment. Will Ozafune show up? I hope he hasn't forgotten what happened in the lockdown area. Sorry to have kept you waiting. I s he said he would see you. Please come inside. There he is. New music at this point in the game? The dwarf is fancy. He has his own soundtrack. And it's a banger. Wow, well, it's been a while. You didn't visit me often. Maybe we thought you had forgotten about us. Haha, <laughs> I'll never forget the favor I once received. It's even rare to receive favors from humans. I've been thinking about you for a long time. Mm-hmm. All alone in this mansion. How about that? However, I didn't come here to talk about the past. I understand. Isn't there something you would like to ask me? You can tell me anything, and if I can, I'll do my best to help you. Destruction of Tokyo, that's a far-fetched far plan. I suddenly can't believe it. I understand how you feel, but it's a real story. Well, when you carry me... I don't think there's anything to gain from you. Right, I don't think you have anything to gain by lying to me. And if that plan is true, I can't keep quiet either. What do you guys want me to do? It doesn't take that much time. We're chasing the runners involved in the orc abduction incident. Orc abduction. Someone who can obtain a ritual sacrifice. Guys, what was your intention of in, in choosing? Why did they choose orcs? Well, you can guess why. The truth is, we don't really know. 
but there's no doubt that earthquake planning is progressing even while we are talking. The quickest way to get close to them is to catch the runner's tails. Uh, orc, I think uh, she's holding on to something, that's what I thought. I see. I guess we should uh, should connect you guys to Orc. And that's how it is. It's okay. If it is that much important, it's cheap and you can use it. But is this all there is to it? I'm trying to prevent the destruction of Tokyo, please let me use more power. I'm grateful, I'm grateful to hear you say that. You could just ask for money, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't be grateful if this city disappeared. I'm, um, I'm glad you guys are working on this or something. Okay, can we keep talking? Because we can move. Yes, yeah, same dialogue, so we just move to Orc. <laughs> Look at this guy. Dirty bloodline, cursed race. Filthy Orcs immediately get out of this area. Leave. We humans are the pinnacle of all races. Woe to you, lowly orcs. Woe to you. <laughs> uh, and we don't say anything. What is it? Let's go. Yeah. You guys, are you connected to Orc even though you are a human? You should be denounced immediately. You must be denounced. Yeah, this guy just repeats what the other says. This traitor. You know, now he's talking more. Curse the few Theorics and their collaborators. Rokudo says nothing. Ah. What is wrong, Rokudo? We don't have time to worry about people like that. Sorry, I know. Oi. Shh, shut up. Look at the portraits. Aren't they the ones who came to the front protest? Humans? We can talk to man member. Rude, I'd like to ask uh, to talk to you, to take over for a m I'd like to ask you to take over for a moment. This is where? Is this the elf? I don't have anyone here who can help you with humans. Don't get me wrong, we have nothing to do with the people who, show who showed up. Up front. I'm sure Ozafune has contacted you. I'd like to meet uh, Mr. Mute. Oh, you. Okay, please wait a moment. I can't calm down and talk when I'm so nervous. 
we are dealing with guys like the one in front earlier. No wonder you feel tingly. Tingly. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Mute said he would see you soon. This way. Work activist elf. It will be interesting to see what kind of tough guy comes out. I'm told he has a lot of skill. I, I knew it was a woman. Sorry I made you wait. Isn't she a woman with very thin lines? <laughs> I demand to see a manager. <laughs> I feel like I've seen her somewhere, but maybe it's just my imagination. I heard that you have something to say to me? And we can't talk amongst ourselves, have to talk to her? Yes. I think you heard this from Mr. Osafune. At least for now. Uh, a plan to destroy Tokyo with magic. Moreover, the recent abduction incident is connected to that plan. I think it's an interesting story, but to be honest, it seems like I'm catching a cloud. Yeah, I think she means to say it's too far-fetched. Not yet, I'm skeptical. I know you can't believe it right away. But it's an undeniable fact. You shouldn't matter. Like, they're kidnapping orcs, we want to stop that. You should want to help us just based on that. I want you to tell me what you know about the abduction incident. To find the runners involved in the abduction. I won't do anything bad for you, either. I also have some knowledge of magic. It is also possible to draw out great magical power using special rituals, I know. But that's just something I know as knowledge. Hello there, Archon Havok. Welcome back to the stream. How are you doing? To cause an earthquake strong enough to destroy an entire city. I can't even imagine how much magic power is required. Like you said, orcs keep getting kidnapped. Doing good, very busy. Oh, tell me about Artyom. Uh, let me show you something real quick. Let me see if you like it. Uh, let me move over here real quick. Let me pull this down real quick. What do you think of this? It took me way too long to make it work, but I think it looks really good. Yeah, because I usually have uh, this as my background, but I thought, you know, I should want... I should try to make something... Uh, Themed after Half Life. Yeah, I got this from the Alex website. So I, I extracted all the layers and then I built a web page to keep moving it slowly like that. Yeah, I, I'm really satisfied with how it ended up ended up looking. I'm glad you like it. All right, where were we? Resume timer. Use the magical rituals, use the sacrifices. With the blood spilled like that, they're trying to destroy this city. Are you gonna keep talking about this again? The only ones who can stop them now are those of us who have realized this. Uh, 
uh, tell me what information you know. I got it. Let me tell you what I know. I can't smear mud on Mr. Osafune's face. Yeah, you sh that that doesn't sound very polite. But if I look at your stories, uh, I don't believe everything you say. I would like to accompany you as well. Is it okay? What we're dealing with are people with great power. If you touch it carelessly, carelessly you'll only get burned. I don't think you know what kind of world we live in. The fight against meta-human discrimination is not just a sweet enough neat thing for me to let go. Even my hands, it's not pretty at all. I understand. Do whatever you feel like. So is she joining us? Anyway, let me tell you what information we have. Yeah, please do. They have played a central role in the abduction cases to date. Right, she's talking about the runners now. This man is the Black Swan. He is a leader class mercenary. Originally, he was active in Tokyo. I know that he was on an expedition to a foreign country not long ago. What did he do abroad? I don't know the exact details of the mission. But apparently he was employed by a company called S Technology. S Tech. Do you want me to welcome you back, Musifate? Welcome back, Musifate. Nice to have you back here. Flare Wind is Black Swan's partner and a skilled mage. Yeah, Black Swan is not being a very good partner to her from what we hear. I don't see much noticeable activity. Yeah, she doesn't see any either. I wanted to do the welcoming credit. <laughs> Uh, I've been working with Black Swans for quite... S she has been working with Black Swan for quite some time now. Uh, the troll. He's a troll who calls himself Rock Smasher and his background is still a no. You did some dishes, you made some snacks. Man, I have so many dishes piled up. You just reminded me that I need to get on that tomorrow, not today. Yeah, everyone over here is busy lately, so things are falling behind sometimes. It's fine. Two weeks of tomorrow. I haven't gotten to two weeks yet, my friend. I think you needed to do the dishes more than I did. <laughs> However, I can't find any evidence that he was active in Tokyo. I'm doing a small handful at a time, right? Just working through it. Uh, some people say that if you do the dishes as they appear, they don't accumulate. Sounds like a very good theory. I haven't been able to test it yet. 10 minutes here and there. <laughs> Eh, well, you can't claim that you are... They don't accumulate, but it takes longer. Eh, well, if you do 10 minutes at a time, you can always claim that you are doing your dishes. They're just winning for now. Apparently, he joined the Black Swan overseas. And this is supposed to be Rokudo's friend. It's deplorable that he, a meta-human, is involved in this incident. 
and all the kids. Yeah. Pretty easy. 10 minutes at a time kind of happens, kind of keeps it at a standstill. I'll eventually need to do an hour or two. And you're just, you're just keeping the angry dishes at bay for now. The last boy is called Trinity. I can't imagine a kid like this working as a runner. Yes. It seems like your his specialty is gathering information in the matrix. There are too many things I don't understand about him. One day a boy suddenly appeared out of nowhere. That's exactly the kind of atmosphere. All runners are like that. No one, uh, no one wants to touch the past. I already know. I'm just a little concerned about something. Hmm? I researched these runners and found out. Everyone has almost completely erased their past. But this boy named Trinity had a strange record left behind. S -s like someone is trying to find him. A strange record? Yes. Already several decades ago, this is an old record from when there was... From the Awakening. You've been erased. Eh, he probably ran away from home, doesn't want his mom to find him or something. As we pick up people who seem to have had connections with Trinity... He goes back to that time. There is a record that there was a boy who looked exactly like Trinity. Decades ago, this kid looks like he's about 10 years old. Well, maybe something happens in the awakening and he doesn't get old. There can't be any records left in such an old er era. You know what would be funny? If he was a dragon? This is the first Shadowrun game without a dragon. Perhaps that kid named Trinity was a parent or something. I don't understand the point in keeping such a record. Of course, I think so too. I can't think of anything else. However, he seems something terrifying. There's something terrifying about this boy named Trinity. Uh, can a dragon install a data jack to connect a cyber deck? That would be trippy. An elf's intuition is fine, but there's no point in worrying about such old records. Anyway, you have to think about what we can do now. I'd think so, but it would be problematic if they ever ch changed after, yeah. So, okay, we're just speedballing here, I really doubt the kid is a dragon. But he would like have shapeshift into a kid, then he got a data jack installed, and then he had to remain in that shape forever. Yeah, cybernetics weakened magic potential. Uh, that doesn't do anything in the SNES game. In the Genesis game, you can't be a mage and installing plants at the same time. And on this game, you can't install cybernetics on Mao, which is the only mage of the group, or shaman. But yeah, the Genesis game has like the score for... I don't remember the name of the stat for magic and it goes down if you install stuff, which is how the rules are supposed to go, I believe. Anyway, we have to think about what we can do now. 
they both got it wrong. I, I, I believe you. The 3x Gone games let you do it right, where you can install but you get weaker. That's how it's built it in. I mean, on the Genesis game, you can I, I think that's how it works. On the Genesis game, you can install, but the number goes down, so you can do less magic, I think. Yes, that's exactly what you said. Yeah, you said the same after typed it, counting chat lag. Alright. So what are they doing now? Previously, he was involved in the abduction of orcs in and around the blockade. But lately, I've been, they have been slowing down. Well, again, was it fate? Because I haven't actually had contact with the tabletop RPG rules, I usually defer to your, your authority on these matters. Uh, so far, nearly 100 orcs have been abducted, including children. The vigilance was quite strict. I really like the system that is free to do whatever stupid mistakes you want with consequences. That's the reason I liked GURPS when I was a kid. You really could like... Uh, with GURPS supers, you would pick up so much crap just to have enough points to do the cool stuff that you wanted. You could really just be dumb with that. That module was so much fun. I'm sure he wasn't in a position to get his hands on it. Maybe right, he couldn't get more orcs on the blockade. Does that mean he was sniffed out and withdrew his hand? Yeah, that's probably what happened. They knew they were... I hope so. Yeah, but now they're going for the underground orcs. I didn't like basic D&D. Cleric can't use a blade, or you can only use a dagger and stuff. Some games make magic weaker by how much armor you have. Also good system, you can make whatever stupid mistakes you want. You could make a lot of dumb mistakes building a character in original Ultima Online as well. Because you could... You could uh, learn swords and magic. But you can only max like seven skills. So if you started putting, uh, getting points in skills that didn't feature build, uh, yeah, I, as far as I remember, you, there was no way back then to like lose a skill. So it would be, it would be very bad. You would be like spending a month trying to learn something, then realize, oh shit, I don't actually need this skill. I remember Ultima Online had the weirdest skill called Magic Resistance. Some flexibility, but not ultimate flexibility. Yeah, uh, I've mentioned this before. I like games that let me do like everything, but I, 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 I do feel it doesn't work well for most games. I remember Ultima Online had a skill called Magic Resistance, and skills in that game, you only got points in them by using them. So the way to get points in magic resistance was to have cast uh, spells cast on you. And I remember this thing where a group of players would organize. They would go into a small house. Everyone would be naked to take the full effect of the of the spells and in case they died, they wouldn't lose anything. So you had a house full of naked people, all grouped up together in the center of the house. And around this group of people, you, have, you would have a bunch of mages casting spells on them to increase their magic resistance. And basically, you would come in, there would be someone at the door, and you would hand him a, a bag of reagents for spells. That was like the ticket to get inside. And then he would allow you inside the door and you would go in naked, join the group of naked people and just stay there for an hour or two. That game was so weird at times. Uh, 
you need they balance so you have to be interested not just good at everything yeah most of the time if you can just be good at everything the game gets boring it's it's the more you let a, care, a player do in the game the harder it is to keep it balanced and challenging until now they have outsmarted us thoroughly Guild Wars 1 one is there a love deal you could counter to tropes it was usually very bad at the elementalists were usually squishy dps but I made a point blank here we elementalists would run up to our faces in pvp it was so regarding the creativity they allowed yeah it, it's just like usually game devs don't do that especially in multiplayer because it's difficult to balance it it's easier to just show horn each character class into doing just one thing and balanced around that and just cut people's wings whenever they try to fly too far from their designed box uh, world of warcraft is, is that for multi for pvp like they usually called blizzard the fun police whenever a class was doing something completely different they would just nerf it so go back to your box because of that, Guild Wars 2 got very uninteresting. I'm gonna let you guys in in a little secret. I freaking hate PvP. In everything, so I never played PvP in those games. Never liked it. Uh, there's a possibility that they're still carrying out some type of activity outside of the lockdown area. Uh, I think we don't know yet they're going for the underground orcs. Or do we? Is there a place where orcs gather outside of the blockade area? Yes, Shion, you've been there. Funny thing is, even though Guild Wars 1 was harder to balance, it had much better PvP. Yeah, that goes hand in hand. The harder it is to balance, then it means it's more interesting. I'm not trying to sell you on PvP, most of my friends don't like it. And I don't like modern trends in PvP. When I played World of Warcraft, most of my friends did like PvP. They would keep dragging me to do arenas. And I'm like, okay, I'm just running around, not doing anything because they keep crowd controlling me. Yeah, that's so fun. I cast a spell, great, now I'm silenced again for another five minutes. And we keep running around and no one dies and... I was so boring. Because if you balance for PvP, it's harder to balance for PvP. I did complain about this a lot. Like, you could have such a much more fun game if, like... You know, you want to do PvP, whatever. Do a bunch of skills that behave differently. Oh no, we need the skills to behave the same in both PvP and PvP. Otherwise, players will be confused. And so PvE had to suffer because of PvP. And I hated it that's part of the game design. PvP in World of Warcraft did suck. It was either a lot of people and it made no sense and it lagged all the time. Or was it just a few people and it would take forever. People healing, people silenced, interrupting. Is there really such a place here in Tokyo? Shun, you were there, Shun, my friend. I was in the opposite camp. Guild Wars wanted to have different behavior for PvP and PvE and I hated that it was. I was find some skills being kind of useless in Guild Wars 1. I played a lot of Guild Wars 1. I remember nothing of it. I remember the friends I played with. I remember the name of the guild that we had. I remember that one of our friends played an, uh, an elementalist. Or illusionist it was something that was kind of an illusionist and we made fun of him for it and that's it I might remember like some places it's so weird that I played that game so long that I just forgot everything mesmer yes it was a mesmer <laughs> because no each one of us should pick a different class to to have uh, a lot of variety and all that, and he was left to pick up a Mesmer, and... <laughs> that word sounds a bit funny in my language. I don't know why. And he moved very... Uh, 
we all had male characters, but his didn't look like it was a male character. <laughs> Your group was wrong because Mesmer was very potent. No, I'm sure I'm sure it was. We didn't care. <laughs> like how well the characters played was not was didn't come into question. It was just fun to to keep teasing our friend. When you think about it, it's true. We have no idea either. What are you guys talking about? There are orcs in the underground. We were there. We followed Mao. Did you everyone forget already? Well, we did promise not to tell anyone. Only one thing. There was a place like that, right? Yes! Thank you. I know we're on chapter 7 and that was chapter 2, but you guys should remember it. I did play a girl Mesmer, because they looked cooler. Yeah, uh, boy Mesmers were very weird looking, from my memory. Huh? I'm sure Shigumo remembers it too. Who is Shigumo? Before, when I chased the ant monster. Yes, yes, tell the player to remember about the chapter 2. We came across a colony of orcs living underground. Yeah, that's, I remember, the, this place was so cool. And she was like, oh, that's right. I didn't remember we found a freaking underground city full of orcs. It's kind of thing you forget. I remember them looking like uh, like spoiled princes. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the look I remember. Those orcs had no contact with the surface. They massively changed Mesmer for Guild Wars 2. Like, doesn't it all feel like the same class? Honestly, I did play Guild Wars 2 for like a month. It didn't remind me of Guild Wars 1 at all. Like, might as well be a different game by a different company. I played a lot less than Guild Wars 1. I think I liked one more. Wish it was a different IP. But if I could smell that village from somewhere... What do you need to smell a village? How does one smell a village? What on earth does that mean, smell a village? Where on earth are the orcs? Not on earth, under the earth. Underneath the city, a place you don't know. Oh, can we already move? Let me put down a save. I've been busy talking. <laughs> to Muzi Fate, as usual. And I feel like this conversation in the game took forever. I monogamed Guild Wars 1 for 7.5 years. Guild Wars 2 for around a year. That kinda says I agree. Guild Wars 1 was like an honest game. You know, it's not perfect, but you know, here here it is. It is our best effort. It's it's fun, right? And we're gonna keep making it a little bit better and yeah, to me that's the best way to describe Guild Wars 1, it was honest. Guild Wars 2 was like, we were successful, time to give us money. Alright, she's asking the same, we're saying the same, can we talk amongst ourselves? Let's go to that place again. Okay, underground something. Subway Ikebukuro Station. Yep. Here we are. Oh, she came with us. Yeah, she said she would. Guild Wars 1 sold me for the most creative and simple logical build system I've ever seen in a game. Guild Wars 2 was a crowd pleaser that was slick, but though. I think that's a good way to describe Guild Wars 2. Crowd pleaser. Guild Wars 1. You basically built a small deck of cards in the city and went out in the world with that except it wasn't cards it was skills but it worked well because it's a tried and true system just very much like magic in a way yeah exactly so it does allow for a lot of experimentation and 
it has like because it wasn't like a huge world that has like no transitions no it was like separated things it made it easier to have like discrete activities that you could do which like is less immersive but more fun and i guess that's more important yeah the skills were totally cards yep Collecting the cards by stealing them from mods, so, so much fun than regular XP systems, ludicrous life service unlocks. Well, life service, everything's better than life service anything, I guess. What about School and Bones, though? They took forever to take a good game, ruin it, and call it a, a quadruple A. I thought it would never come. But there is no proof that the Black Swans noticed the orcs underground. I just pray for their safety. What is there in a place like this? If you just follow us silently, you'll understand. <laughs> Shut up, woman. <laughs> just follow us silently. Let's go. Yikuzo! Uh, it's loading a walking section. Uh, here? Suicide killed the Justice League and Skull and Bones. People celebrating their bombing so bad that life services are dead. At the same time, people cleaning themselves about the latest flavor of the month, Helldivers 2. Also, predatory life service game. No one seems to be criticizing that. People are stupid. Um, usually when that happens, it's not the same people. Because we look at the internet as this amorphous blob that goes everyone together in the same direction it's usually not the same people but yeah i do get wh where you're coming from i heard about Hell helldivers 2 and everyone oh this game is so good and i'm like yeah it's a live service they have microtransactions so I'm not giving you the time of day and know what you're saying but it is <laughs> i don't know I, I i know where you're coming from i do get frustrated sometimes but Whatever. I think that there was a time where every company was chasing MMOs. And now everyone is... And then everyone was chasing Battle Royales. And now everyone is chasing life service in general. Eh, it's gonna happen. You just ignore those games. They're too expensive anyway. For the main independent news outlets, that's happening. Well... Gaming news, am I right? It's... You could, could, you could get your news from random comments on Reddit, it would probably be more accurate. There's a collective hole you get from watching the web. Yeah, we have to be careful with that, because it paints a weird picture of, of people in general. Because you end up falling in that trap of, oh, everyone thinks in, a, in this way, and no people... There are a lot of people that agree with us. And then you get stuck in an echo chamber, so... Yeah. it's We're talking about just games, so it's it's fine, but it has uh, some nefarious effects on other kinds of discourse. Uh, this was previously used as a subway. Now no one steps foot in here. However, when you're using the same people and getting the conflicting feedback from the same people, that's what I'm seeing in this example. Oh, I don't read the names of people commenting online, so I don't know if it is the same people. Talking about art and social movements. Yes, it's games, but it's more than games. Yeah, I did. Uh, that's what I meant. We are specifically talking about games right now, but this kind of problem does go beyond games and it's where it gets tricky. This kind of, of problem is getting more and more per pervasive in politics. It's only getting worse, so... But... 
I have a specific view reviews I like and watch the account. You're not memorizing writers' commenters names. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't follow anyone specific. That's why I don't I I can't have the same experience that you have. I'm used to looking at Reddit and thinking of it as, of it as the as a hive mind. Which is what I was mentioning before. But yeah, if you're following people specific reviewers that are offering conflicting information then yeah then you do have a point very rarely read reddit well i do read reddit a bunch but i don't read i don't spend time on much of anything else so i think it's fine because i don't know i don't i don't have facebook or instagram or twitter i just stick to some small reddit communities and i just read because this one time i told people to you know reddit is going to shit if you want if they blocked all the third party clients so i don't know maybe you guys could install reddit revanced so it doesn't work like shit and reddit banned my account so screw reddit i guess do people who come to a place like this really like things do they like being here? Otherwise, it's just people who don't care. Let's go. Don't let your guard down. Right, we're gonna have some fights in here. Do we have to equip her? Oh shit, she does have equipment. But we can't change anything. Okay. Hopefully she's a good shot. I ask a question frequently taken to Reddit. Yeah, they do often have the answer I'm looking for. When a platform censors criticism against it, their platform you can't trust. Is there a solution to that? Because when Reddit was going to shit, well, it is going still, but when it started going to shit, people are starting to think about moving to like uh, federated sites like Lemmy. Those don't work, right? Because people want to create an account and use that account and just now have to, oh, this isn't an instance, your account is in another instance, you have to to connect there or uh, I don't know. That stuff is too complicated, it will never work for regular people. But on the other hand, if it is not, is, if it is not that, it's centralized in some company's interests holding so if it's not ready it's gonna be some other shitty dump company anyway uh, the solution is to let people criticize you if they're being reasonable about it N like not doing life threats i don't get people doing life threats uh, that shit is so dumb this hole should have been closed after i met the orcs in the village Oh, so, so they have been here and reopened the hole. It means that there's someone other than us who has something to do down the road. Yeah, they're here. Even though most are hyperbole, I support blocking those comments. You have to block him. Uh, no one wants to see that. It can't do a lot of harm for someone's head, which is why they do that kind of stuff. Or there is worse stuff. I do fully support blocking that that kind of content. It's just it, it, it just makes everything worse for everyone, especially the 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 people receiving the threats. It doesn't matter if they are hyperbole. You know, there is one time when it isn't, and then yeah. Whoever did it, I don't think it was a very pleasant thing to do. Are there orcs ahead? Uh, did we... S uh, we can't save in here, right? Yeah, we can't. It's gonna be combat and... Oh, the orcs are dead. I'm being shot. No, he, he, he was shot. Ma'am, you're doing fine. Calm down. Oh my god, I need to help. He's already dead. 
Shun with his usual good bad side manners is that guy. There are signs that he used the gun. Again. Reasonable criticism or even no threat and non-constructive ranting should be allowed, I do agree. As long as you're not being offensive. As long as you're not obviously trolling. Now it's clear, we better hurry. And he's surprised this this someone this one is still breathing. Someone our Watashi Tachino What does that say? Let me bring up my phone real quick. See if I can get Google to behave. By doing a different angle. Nope, he refuses to... Uh, yeah, our something. Google refuses to read that. Come on! <laughs> Talk to me before you die. They are... He has a big gun. Be careful. Hey, brace yourself. It's useless. Uh, he's gone. I think. Damn it. If only I had noticed sooner. And here they are. That's bad. Well, offensive can't be avoided when people are sharing strong opinions, and that should be okay, but not like bigotry offensive. Um, I'm not disagreeing with you. Is I, I think that there are many levels of, of being offensive, and I guess that you have a wider spectrum of what you consider offensive. I think that when it become, starts to become offensive, it's already wrong. It's semantics. I'm agreeing with you, actually. They're using pretty big weapons. These guys are troublesome. Uh, that doesn't mean you can just sit back and watch. Let's go. Alright, we get some combat in here. What can you do, mute? But she has a gun. A little bit of magic. Well, can she do magic? Because Mao can't. Just give me your hand. Uh, damn it, we have to do something about their big weapons. Orcs, we can do something about this. Easy shot. Incredibly good roll. I think he's dead. The Rokudu is just a beast. Uh, can you reach from there? No, I have to take two steps north. Ah, bad. G difficult shot. He can still get some success here. A little bit. Yeah, that's like half his life in damage, I think. That's good enough. Let's kill the other guy. Yeah, we can just kill the other guy. We don't need to. Oh, they're trying to kill the orcs. He missed. And he missed again. What kind of magic can you do? Uh, mana ball, mana bolt, power ball, and power bolt. Yeah, same stuff. Maybe she can do better than Mao. Yeah, that's difficult, but possible. Yeah, that's weak. 
Obviously she didn't get drained. Alright, leave it to me. I'm just gonna get close to get a better shot. And probably end it right here. No, it's still difficult. That's a good roll. Alright, good enough. Is it finished? Let's go to the village anyway. I thought it was you. Uh, it was helpful for the time being. I can't say it's safe in this state. Who are these people? The orcs who abandoned the surface and went underground. It was just a coincidence that we met with them. Who else survives? Uh, who else survived? I got hit pretty badly, but I'm okay. But some of my friends were taken away. Have your friends been taken away? Yeah, he just said that. Are these people among the people who attacked us? Uh, there's, that's right, there's no doubt it, it's these guys. There were human men and women and trolls. Right, this is the runner group. We're trying to get our friends back who are about to be taken away. As you can see, he retaliated beautifully. Was it too late? Now that you mention it, what about that shaman? Is he safe? Yeah, the orc shaman. We protected him with all our might. Can I meet him? There's something I'd like to talk to him about. Right, we can talk to him about the... Uh, the magic tablet and the earthquake and Tokyo and the prophecy. <laughs> and all of that again. The shaman who guides the orcs in the village. The last time I came here, I only met he only met Mao face to face. Same thing. Let's talk to the orc shaman. And that's why. Apparently, looks like we've gotten ahead of ourselves this time too. I see. They kidnap us to be used the sacrifices in magical rituals. It's a horrifying story. Will you believe me? Since blood was actually shed, there is no way I cannot believe it. I must pray that those who died protecting me will find peace. And I have to thank you guys. No, oh, we don't need, we don't need thanks. If we had realized it sooner, we wouldn't have you. Your guys wouldn't have been killed by these guys. But we have to rescue the people who are taken away as soon as possible. 
Are my friends still alive? Probably for a while. Anyway, leave it to us. It seems like you're saying something cruel. You guys won't be able to move. I am aware. We'll further strengthen our defenses to prevent anyone from entering. Still, it feels strange. They even went out of their way to find this village in order to secure the sacrificial orcs. Why are they so obsessed with orcs? I've never heard of such a ritual either. It's true that if they were to target us, it would be difficult for us to be noticed. I don't understand either. I can still understand if you attacked this village for me. If they attacked. Without me, my friends living in this village would fall apart. But their goal wasn't me. Even the great spirits have mysteries that cannot be solved. Speaking of which, what is that shaman named Mao doing? That girl is loved by a great spirit. Right, that spirit hasn't shown up in a while. I would like to meet and talk with her again. She does... She She's working on her own way of following up this incident. Are we switching to her? We are. We can talk to our to her master. I see. There are peop there are some people who think this way. Indeed there are still mysteries hidden in the world of magic that are beyond our reach. Things that cannot be done by one person can be made possible by gathering the power of many people through rituals. Mm -hmm. So I think it's something used in that ceremony. There was a large stone tablet at the top of the pyramid that was used to concentrate magical power. Can we please not do this entire thing again? I was curious about the words carved on the surface of that stone tablet. Are you going to read out the whole prophecy again? Please don't. I see. Is that why you came to consult me? It's okay. That word tell me as much as you can remember. Yeah, it was hard to read because it was full of detailed pictograms. Elendil said this. Are we going to go through all of it again? Those who take the power of the sun, great calamity. Dedicate the power will inherit, the earth will not rumble. Those who steal the power, trials will end, yada yada. The one who steals the power of the great sun means about this country we live in. By defeating it, Elendil and his friends will regain their power. That kind of thing, it seems like the content. Can you think of anything? Hmm, wait a moment. She leaves and comes back after thinking. What is it? 
It's a fairly old document. Records of excavations carried out in Central America, now called Aztlan, are recorded. Ooh, is that an old picture of Elendil? Isn't this a stone slab you saw in the pyramids pictured here? Yes, that's right. As expected. What is this? This is a record from over 40 years ago. Today's Aztlan, at that time it was called Mexico and Chico. There, newly discovered ruins were excavated. It's a very old ruin. That stone tablet was taken from there. Probably. From those ruins, there are stone tablets inscribed with many prophecies that were dug out. Those stories were eventually forgotten, but... So, is there anything written on the stone tablet I saw? There is a prophecy written that says, Those who steal the power of the sun will be destroyed. Before being studied in detail. A company called Dust Technology has monopolized information about the ruins. As technology. Yes, it's a company with a man named Elante. We know Mao. We've, we've heard of that before. Elante said this. Dedicate the power of the earth and those who inherit the earth. Those who steal the power of the sun. It seems that the prophecy the mouse saw is quite difficult to interpret. In particular, I wonder what the demon-like humanoid creatures that appear in the prophecy represent. If the current interpretation is correct, the power of the earth and those who inherit it. That would refer to the Emoji Monster. Okay, it's not Emoji Monster. Last time we had Emoji, uh, the Pictogram Monster, the monster on the Pictogram. The power of the earth and those who inherit it. Ellen is about to sacrifice an orc. Uh, if does the power of the earth and its success was referred to orcs? I don't know. We spend more time researching, it's not for everyone. I wanted to upgrade my spells. Man, the game just keeps going. I thought this was going to be the final stream. I thought <laughs> I thought this was gonna be a short stream. I even had another game lined up. But yeah, the game just I'm not complaining. I'm just surprised that it's still going. We can look at uh monitor. This program is still difficult. I'm still looking at this. Simulation of crystal manipulation by magical induction. He always has to repeat that. At this rate, I can't seem to find a clue. Let's consider the parameters used for simulation. It would take an enormous amount of magical power to cause an earthquake strong enough to completely destroy Tokyo. Yes, we know that. 
it has been mentioned. Judging from the data, the larger the sacrifice, the fewer magicians will be required to participate in the ritual. You, know, you should be able to roughly estimate the scale of the ceremony. As expected, I'm not good at magic data. Let's hear the opinions of our experts. I'm sure Molson has gone to Tokado. Let's talk on the phone. Okay, do we have to use the phone? Yes, this is Tokado. Are you Mal? It's me. Uh, D head. Did you find anything? No. Just simulation programmers. I was looking into it. I don't know how to handle magical data. Could you please give me some advice? Okay, but please don't talk about anything too complicated. I can't decide whether it's a difficult topic or not. Because he doesn't know anything about magic. How many wizards do we need to participate in the ritual magic? How many wizards participate in the ritual? That's right, it depends on what kind of ritual we perform, so I can't generalize. Well then, how many people will be using the pyramid facilities? If that's the case, I don't think they need that many magicians. Wait a minute, I'll ask Grandma, which is her master. Calls it a bunch of different names. Thank you for waiting. It's just a trick. I saw about 20 people at most. If the number of magicians who can participate is 20, then the number of sacrifices needed is nearly 100. What's wrong with that? Yeah, what's wrong with sacrificing 100 people? Can I ask you one more thing? Uh, does the sacrifice have to be offered all at the same time? I don't know. I, I can't find it though. A train is leaving Chicago at 10 a.m. but another train leaves. I think you could make sacrifices little by little and gradually progress through the ritual. Is that so? The number of orcs abducted is close to a hundred. Maybe what we are doing, maybe it's too late for everything. What's wrong, D-Head? Uh, no, it's nothing. Besides that, did you find out anything else? Now I know the real reason they chose orcs as a sacrifice. Ellen Dill and his friends are sacrificing orcs according to the prophecy. I really want to stop this crazy plan. I agree. Have you heard from Rakudo and others? Yeah, he should be back soon. I finished researching everything, so I'm planning to meet you at Silvermoon. Okay, I'll try a little longer. Let's look at the monitor some more. All that's left is these files left by Amy. If only I could read the hidden parts. Answer the name of what should be offered. Orcs? Something to offer. Now that I think about it, Mao Sun said... Elidio and his friends are sacrificing orcs according to the prophecy. 
something to offer. Perhaps orc. So difficult. <laughs> it's been a long time since I was separated from my friends. Were we able to get even a little, a little closer to Elendil? Welcome. You look quite tired, Miss Mao. Huh? Not really. I'm fine. Besides, Rukudra and the others haven't come? No. I haven't seen them yet. Oh, if you gossip, it's like a shadow. Alright, you talk of, talk of... Speak of the devil. Mo, are you here? No, he isn't. This is an illusion. Did you find out anything? Well, more importantly, how did it turn out? We were able to contact the orc. And it turns out that things are getting really bad. And put down a save. Might as well put it in a different slot, I guess. Yes. Yes, everyone is, is here. For Kudo-san, it's a call from Mr. D-Head. Yeah. What is it? I was able to read the file left by Amy to the end. Really? Yes. Now, could you please come to my room? Understood. I'll go right away. Right, everyone is here. The head should have been more specific and said she on he only wanted Rokudo to, to be here, but whatever. So, did you find anything in Amy's file? Yes. This is very important content. Please take a look at this. It's a diagram for the pyramid. There's a pentagram. No, it's a hexagram at the top. It shows you how to use the Aztec exposition site as a ritual magic device. The pyramid is in the center. Uh, I think she's saying it's scary. The pyramid is the source of for drying out magical power, isn't it? The following appears to be a recording of the ritual steps. Complete the magic by making sacrifices little by little. What is this computer assistance? They use fairly complex magic and it seems they rely on machines to assist them. Huh. Oh shit, it didn't translate anything. Let's try it on the phone. Come on. Come on, Google. You can do it. Hmm, I can't even imagine what it would be like to have mechanical assistance. Helping. This is this thing. It it can't detect text. It's failing to detect text. Let me try to refresh the page. Let me try again. Oh, okay. I was worried that Google was blocking me for a second. 
If you want to disrupt the ritual, this area might be your target. So what's the next file? It looks like an energy line allocation diagram. Yes. It is pretty important information. This is information about the energy supply to the facility. Energy supply, does that really matter? That's right. Apparently the ritual requires quite a large amount of energy. We are working very hard to secure an energy line to supply electricity. They well, probably because it needs a lot of energy. Look at this. For this project, they are acquiring an independent company in Shibara and converting it into a supply, power supply facility. From there, energy lines are distributed. If we don't do this... If they don't do this, they can't... They won't be able to cover the energy consumed at the venue. Normally they would run out of fuel, so they're trying to pull in pipes from outside and try to do something about it. Uh, come on, Google. Come on, be, be a peach and keep working, please. it's temporary. I don't know, even my phone is having trouble. Let me try with a different internet connection. Yeah, that's what it is. Now we have all the information. Uh, stop failing, Google. Based on the current situation, how far do you think the plan is progressing? Ellen Dill has everything he needs. Let's be honest. It wouldn't be surprising if an earthquake were to occur right away. I see. But if they have what they need, I don't think that man will de delay his plans. He must have some serious problem. It's only a matter of spe speculation though. I hope that's the case. In any case, we can't afford to keep idling around. Facilities and tools for rituals. Wizards performing rituals. And the sacrifice. Ellen Duke can cause an earthquake whenever he feels like it. I agree. The one who missed us in the pyramids. I guess it's because uh, they are confident that we can't stop him now. So he let us go with the pyramid because whatever. Doesn't think we can stop him. Just because we can't let him do whatever he wants like this. I've lived in this town all my life. I can't let it be destroyed in silence. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be very noisy. I know, Mal, the situation is certainly not good. However, there is no reason to be so pessimistic. 
the ritual planning can no longer be stopped. However, it is possible to disrupt the ritual itself. They're even going so far as to shut out the Tokyo branch, which was playing the exposition to proceed with the ritual. I haven't talked about the president of the Tokyo branch ever since we heard he was captured. If you poke at that strain. What do you mean? As D had said earlier, this facility has a major weakness. Is it a power distribution facility? Ah, that's a lot of planning. By pressing this button, you can temporarily reduce the energy required for the facility. That will make it a lot easier. I see. Besides, if we can't get into the Pyramid's computers from the power distribution facility, we can make the ritual quite confusing. But to do that, our strength alone isn't enough, right? You have to be able to tell two people, right? That's right. With only our hands, I don't think we can manage it. If you don't have enough hands, you can borrow it from someone else. Or Kanosafuni should be able to help. Izu and the metal guys too. Oh, the metal guys! No, no, I'm thinking of someone else. Metal guys are the people from the gang Metal Labyrinth, which we worked for on the first mission. And this was the other samurai. Okay, is this en us enlisting the help of everyone? Is this where the game is finally gonna pick up the people who helped along the way? Maybe. Yeah, that's right. Let's contact Osafuni and the others. Alright, uh, save. And call people. We can call Hajime from Metal Labyrinth. We can contact Mute from Orc. One of these is Osafuni, the other is Izo. Okay, let's start with Hajime. Yes, it's Rokudo. I'm bored. Do you need anything? Yes. Are you planning to go wild for the first time in a while? <laughs> Are you planning on doing something? That looks interesting. Let's hear the story. Okay. okay, you don't have to go through all the explaining of what's going on. Okay, let's call Izu. I think this is... Okay, this is Rokudo. Oh, what's up? Actually, I'm looking for a skilled helper. Would you lend me your help? I don't think you would go out of your way to drag me out. Okay, let's listen to what you have to say. And it skips. Thank you, game. It's really good. Let's call Mute. The elf from work. Moshi Moshi. That's the first time anyone has picked up the phone like that in this game. Jake, thank you for taking care of me during the day. Do you want to take care of me during the night as well? <laughs> That voice was shun son. Did you learn anything new? Yes. I've decided to seriously thwart them, so I'd like you to lend me your strength. Okay, what should I do? 
I want you to gather some talented people and then come to Ozofune's mansion. Got it. And we call Ozofune. Oz uh, it's me. And then we tell him, yeah, there's a party at your place. There's a lot of people coming. Just, just thought I'd let you know. This is Shun. Oh, you guys, I apologize for waiting. How's it going? I was just making plans to go see Ellendale. There are a few more things I'd, I'd like you to prepare. Tell me everything. Thank you. I'm heading over there now. Please leave the gates to the mansion open. Now I've spoken out once and for all. Before I go into Ozofuni's mansion, let's check the equipment. I agree. Once in the Silver Moon, shall we go? Okay, Silver Moon. And from here we can... We can spend money, but we don't have a lot of money. Let me put down a save. Let me see if I can train Mao with some, some healing magic. Uh, Mao is this one. Oh, Mao, what's the matter? Do you need something? Yeah, I want uh, to level up magic. Do you have any new magic that might be interesting? Oh, we do have some more money. Uh, mana ball, mana bolt, power ball, power bolt, heal, sleep. Okay, no new magic. Oh, I want to cast the spell in a higher dimension. Understood, what do you want? I want to increase healing as much as we can. If she can be like a dedicated healer that actually works, that would be amazing. We don't need her to do damage. She's not good at that. A thousand. Okay. Another thousand. Okay, we're gonna fully upgrade this, I think. It has two digits. You can upgrade it to a 10, 15, 14, something like that. Depends on how far it goes. Oh wait, we can't? And we need 1,000 1, Nuyen. Is that okay? Yes. Uh, it's impossible to make it any higher than it is now. Okay. And now we buy new armor for Mao, I think. We have some money for that, so let's head to Triple Z. I want to buy uh, armor, and I want the partial suit, which is what we can afford. Yes, we want to give it to Mao. Wait. Can Mal not use it? Wearing these armors is that's impossible. Oh, really? Well, what about this one? This is a arm jack, arm 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 jacket. Doesn't she? Already have something like this. What about weapons? No, we don't need an explanation. Yeah, the most expensive one was this. Although we want one with a cyber link, right?
Because we do have the implant. How much is the modification? Well, maybe we can buy two and modify them and sell older weapons if we if we can't we did save before this if we mess it up so buy two of these one for Rokudo and one for Shun Now we can modify weapons. Is it here? Yes, gun modification. Okay, we want to modify his new MP Asian whatever. And we want a smart link this. It's 3000. Is Mato go smart goggles? No, it isn't this. It's this smart gun system. Okay, we need 600, so we need 1200 total for both. I think we can sell weapons to get that money. We want to sell. See if I can keep the previous weapon just in case. That's good enough. Let's buy the modifications. Uh, Rokudo on the MP. AGMG, we want a smart gun system. A smart gun system. What are you saying? Unless you have Cyber Recall Smart Link, we do. Do you still want it? Yes. What else? We want one for. Shun on his MPHMG. We want a smart gun system. He explains what it is. When the smart gun term existed before smart guns and smart TVs, yeah, who cares about a smartphone when you can have a smart gun? Imagine you can shoot someone while not watching Netflix. That's what it's for, right? I mean, it requires a link, so maybe it's just for like... Connect, check your emails online, maybe, from your head. Okay, let's save. It's on a different slot in case we messed up our purchases. And let's go to... Sounds like a derivative name now, but then it was more unique, right? You know what I didn't? No, I just realized I didn't even make that connection between smart guns and you know smart fridges. I saw some guy complaining online that his washing machine was downloading more than one gigabyte per week. Because apparently that's a thing now. Never did until now. Yeah. Because it, this has always been a completely separate thing, and it's as I explained. Please don't make me say everything again. Yeah, Google just. Are that facilities venue and sees the. Yeah, he's telling what we want to do. We go in there and we disable the electrical. That's the first decision. I don't really, but imagine new people being introduced to the FE. That makes sense. Oh crap. Yeah, now it feels like it's derivative. 
my washing machine might need replaced. I'll not be getting smart washer. Yeah, please don't. I'm ju just don't give you the password. Oh, we will use the place with the if ceremony. Uh, they're explaining what they're gonna be doing. Three times the price and more things to break. Yeah. Got it. I mean, if you could, like, connect to it from your phone and say, pick up my dirty clothes, you dirty washing machine, and get them clean, you dumb shit, and it did. But no, it probably just tells you, hello, it's it's finished, I'm gonna be beeping for a while, I guess. Well, what's wrong with just beeping? So we attack the ceremonial venue itself without any delay? Oh, it would maybe want a smart try to fold in my clothes. Yeah, that would be smart. Me and the head will secure the power distribution facility. After that, two more people will be in charge. But is it okay to attack power distribution facilities? How do you plan on getting to the Aztec Expo venue? Me and Mao and two other people will be heading to the venue. We also broke into the venue using the underground drainage ditch. I'm going to use that drain again. Is it loading from... Yeah, I think my... My hard drive is spinning. Give it a second, there we go. It had to load text from the CD. I'm going to use that drain again. Control the washer from your phone. Take extra time to load the app that you would just press physical buttons after loading it anyways. You know the only smart device that I got that made sense? It was a freaking printer, because screw getting a printer connected to anything. So now I just go, you know, I want to scan this document, and yeah, here's a PDF, do you want to send it over email, do you want to save it, whatever, I just pull up my phone, print this shit, and it says, okie dokie, I don't need to install drivers on a computer and connect a cable, and it's the only smart device that really, really makes a lot of sense, it made things a lot easier over here. Once an intruder is allowed into a place, you appear to be extremely strict, so it's better to think about something else. I do get the value of a smart fridge if it kept tabs in your inventory auto order for you. We don't want it, but at least that makes sense. Yeah, but it doesn't... You can't keep tabs on your inventory. What is this that you put inside me? It looks like mayonnaise with... Tea. Is that a thing? Like, you, you have to type it in. You might as well keep your own inventory, I guess. Did you have to install an app for it on your phone? Is that really easier than installing on the computer? Mayo with T. I think you can use just print, at least from the Android a device. But I did end up just installing the app from the from the manufacturer because it's the only good printer manufacturer, so I'm, I'm okay with it. It's not HP or Epson or some other dumb shit like that. So yeah, I installed the... I think you can't scan without using it. But yeah, literally, I, like... I go in here, I open the application, I don't even remember the name. I do remember the name, I just... I open the application, I have one button for print, one pr button for scan. I type, I print, I press scan, and then it, the printer starts going. And then it says, if you want another page, press scan again, otherwise press done. And then you have the images. And you can select them, you can save as image or a PDF, and you can share it. Like, if sometimes a family member needs a document scanned, I just send it to their email. And that's it. Our, our, our printer is only connected to the power outlet. That's it. Doesn't sound any easier or harder than installing drivers. Oh, maybe I'm old fashioned, but the last time I used the printer before this one, it was probably 
Windows 98 or Windows XP and drivers were really annoying back then. It has to be installed to your Wi-Fi. Uh, you just give it the Wi-Fi password. It's not installed on anything. And then on your app you say find the... I can use it from the computer as well. By using a wireless printer. But there's no need. What kind of options are there? Nothing besides power, right? Yeah. Sure. There's a toy that's just right. Take a look at this. What is this? It's a simpler glider for personal use. Even if you call it a toy, its performance is sufficient. Works for your workflow. That's great. I don't see much difference from mine, but that's fine. Okay, let me let me put it this way. Everyone in the house can use it without touching a computer. We can have guests print. If just you know, install this app and knock yourself out. I know. I just find it easier to just walk into the room, pull up a phone, not even sit down, and print this, grab it, and leave. Like I said, I'm not I'm not a fan of modern stuff. Like people get their Alexas and their Roku's and their Teslas and I don't even know their Roombas. I, I I don't I don't do any of that stuff. Like I have a it's like that old joke, I have a printer and I keep a loaded shotgun next to it in case it makes a funny noise. Uh, I live alone, I only print stuff on the computer anyways. Right, yeah, it's a very different workflow. I rarely print anything anyway. It's mostly for other family members. I usually just scan, people, yeah, scan stuff for others. Mostly I print taxes. Yeah, I, I keep hearing how taxes are bullshit in the United States. Because you have all this lobbying from all these companies that sell these programs to do the taxes. Over here you can... Like, I believe that nowadays I still do it all, an old-fashioned way. Because I remember back in the late 90s, early 2000s... Late 90s, you would go... You would grab a floppy disk with a program to do your taxes, you would do the taxes, you would save it on another floppy disk and deliver the floppy disk. And that's it. The program was provided by the government. Nowadays over here you just go online, they have a pre-filled tax forms with everything. If you know you are regularly employed, you don't have to change anything, you just click send. If you have to inform additional income, you use the fields over there. I still download and install their program, but I think you don't even need to do that nowadays. You don't use the programs. Yeah, over here it's just easier. Right, the programs over there, they don't do the organizing from figuring out what to put there. They just do the math. Yeah, the program over here does everything. Like, it comes preloaded with your data, most of it. You just correct stuff if you have, you add the extra info that you need, and you click a button to send it. And if you have to pay, it gives you, like, the, the payment booklet right away to pay online if you want. And if you have to receive uh, from from the government, they ju you just inform your bank account. You click a button, it sends, it does everything. If you have to correct it, use the same program and says no, I'm, this is a correction, you send it again, it's just... It's so easy compared to the horror stories I hear from the United States some, sometimes. With all the forums... And the math, you don't, do any, you don't do any math here. It is to their benefit, yes. The government should provide the programs, they have been doing that over here for decades and it's... Amazing. They charge a processing convenience charge. Doesn't charge if I do paper forms to make their job harder. Yeah, that makes no sense. Like Musafuni here is saying, it's a victor for technology. 
This thing can also be controlled remotely. I see. From the sky, huh? Make their job harder, so they don't charge for. Yeah, that's that's they are to blame for that. A federal and state taxes. My state has pretty good electronic system to calculate for you. There's slick. federal is archaic. Yeah, there's another thing. Like you have different things for different states. You have a different DMV for each state or something like that. Like we have a driver's license. It's the same for the entire country. Like. Why wouldn't all of it, of it be centralized? I can literally open an app on my phone and see if I got any tickets. I haven't, but I, I can do that. I can pay the tickets from my phone. They also don't expect an invasion from the sky. Only the one license from the country, but getting the state will be... Yeah, it's, it is only one license from the country. I, I do get that, but... Every time I see a document of an American line, it says state of sunny flowers and it has a, has a rainbow and I'm like, why? It's a document. <laughs> Just ignore tickets from other states. Yeah, that, that's so messed up. <laughs> that makes no sense. Who doesn't want to live in the state of sunny flowers? Ah, uh, there's a bunch of people who don't like sunny flowers. <laughs> Is that, is that supposed to be advertisement? It's to get people to move into their state? Well, there's no time to get lost, let's just go with it. Yeah, but we're not going still, we have to talk a bunch. Okay, let's check the strategy again. Uh, first, the starting team, led by me and D-Head, will attack the power distribution facility. The purpose is to stop the power supply to the venue. Every state has a few things about it, like state flag, bird, flower, dinosaur, <laughs> and a saying. They usually incorporate one of these things. I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining. That's fine. It's, it's different. I guess I find it a bit weird. Over here, every state has like a flag and I guess an anthem. Most people don't care, it doesn't show up on license plates, on driver's license. Then through a computer system, it's a ritual disruption. It's kind of in inconsequential. Sure, no, that's fine. I'm not, not saying it's... I find it weird because it's not what we have, but it's... It's kind of fun. It's just... It was weird the first time, I guess, I, I saw it. For the starting team, capture the power distribution facility. I stay is pretty corrupt, so I don't really have much respect for it. Well, it's it's the government. You should never have respect for the government anyway. An assault team centered on Mao and I descended to the ceremony venue use a simple glider. The purpose is to stop the ritual. It was fun learning state bird in primary school as a kid. That sounds fun. What is the weirdest state bird? It is the mastermind of the plan is to get rid of Elendil. It's a big job. Maybe. My favorite bird right now is the Secretary Hawk. Not found in the States. I think it's funny, like, he probably probably heard about this already, how, how like you have the ego for freedom and America and he has that that sound and that sound is not from the ego because the ego actually makes a very squeaky funny sound so they just replace it with something else. However, I have no intention of handing over this mission. I didn't know that. Yeah, look it up! Because you have the ego and it makes like... That imposing sound, that's not an eagle. That's not a bald headed eagle, at least. It's either another species of eagle or some hawk or something. The bald headed eagle makes a funny sound. Completely different. It's a bull. <laughs> Alright. 
right. What else do we have to talk about? Let's finish this conversation. Well then, let's start selecting members. Uh, Metal Labyrinth and Orc members need your help in taking control of the power distribution facility. The point is, it's okay to go wild, right? It's cheap. It's okay. Next up is a member of the assault team. This is a danger mission. Can you still lend a hand? If you've come this far, no one will say they don't like the ship you're on. Again with the ships, man. The attack team is me, Mao, Izo, and Mute, which is fine. It's what I want. If it's magic, leave it to me. Because Mao is useless. Okay, let's check this strategy again. Oh god, no. First me and D-Head, then the starting team of Metal and Orca talk the power distribution facility. Will, will this be on the test? Do we need to memorize this? I like memeing on it by pretending bald eagles is a common system of measurement here. You guys have the weirdest measurement systems. Like, why, why do you measure someone's height in feet and inches? Why can't you stick with them? Why can't you say... Like, okay, use feet. Why don't you say, like, five and a half feet? I do have to... Okay, five feet. Okay, the rest we're gonna count in inches. And we go up to 11. When it gets to 12, we stop and we add another feat. I get it, but why? <laughs> and once the starting team captured the power distribution facility... Uh, me, Mal, then is on mute to descend to the ceremony venue. Alright, let's start taking action. I wanted to put down a save. Okay. Can I put a save here before we start? What? What? Are you telling me why I can't save? This feature is currently unavailable. I wanted to save! It's late! It's late, game. I have to work tomorrow. I was just waiting for the dumb conversation to be over. There are reasons to do a base 12 rather than a base 10. It is actually super useful for some industries. Not so much for human height. Yeah! <laughs> I guess. Okay, when can we save this game? I'll leave the diversion to you. Oh, you guys should do your best. Uh, I'll fight until Shion's place. Let's do our best together. I agree. When the mission is finished, let's la let's have a drink slowly. Slow drink. Ah, please tell me the story of the idiot who tried to cause an earthquake with magic. Oh, please, no more talking about magical earthquakes. Okay, guys. Uh, you know what? It's really late. But I think I'm gonna finish this game today, I don't care. Uh, I have a full day tomorrow, but I think we can finish this right now. And it was in the stream title, so we're gonna keep going here. Despite my best judgment, the game will be here tomorrow, not if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> a base 12 is a really lot more flexible for the vision of the base 10. It's 2, 5 is less flexible than 3, 2, 2 base 10 is a quick math for me. Quick maths. Okay, let's, let's keep talking here. Is the helicopter ready? Don't worry, we have a skill, skilled pilot ready. That one is so fun. Oh, look at the futuristic helicopter. We still, still can't save. My sleeping schedule is butchered. I'm just trying to encourage others not to join me. 
so futuristic. My my sleeping schedule, I slept all afternoon yesterday. And then I'm like, okay, I don't have to stream today. So I can take it easy, relax, and go to sleep at a regular time. Then I started working on my overlay for Seven Raid. And then it was 6 in the morning. And then I couldn't fall asleep because I kept thinking I, I have to finish it. It's not done yet. And then I just got up. Took care of the cats, got back to working on the overlay and slept all the afternoon again. It's, it's all screwed up. I'll leave it to you. Everything depends on you. Oh, just pray to God. I really feel like doing it this time. You work from home tomorrow? I do work from home, but I have to... Uh, I have a sort of an appointment in the middle of the afternoon, so... And still, it's Monday, there's always more work to do on Monday. But I'll, I'll manage. Well then, I'll go. Yeah, that's fine. See you soon, Osafune-san. It shouldn't be like... One hour more, maybe. This, this has to be... Getting to the finish. What's the condition of the camera? As for the aileron, it's good. Please equip this. It's a simple glider. You just have to be on for the meeting and can work around and try the rest of the day. Yeah, of course you can. As long as you don't fall asleep at the wrong time. How do you operate it? I mean, if, if, if this takes another two hours, then I'll have to call it, but it should be fine. The controls will be controlled remotely. Please leave it to me. I'll show you exactly where, where you want it. <laughs> nice. Flying over the city. All the little lights. Our destination is, that's right, the light you see over there. Who are you and how did you get in here? I'm a locksmith. And I'm a locksmith. Alan Yates, thank you for the follow. Enjoy the emotes. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Uh, when the light disappears, it's time to rush in. Right, because the other team is over here. Like, honestly, the helicopters in the rulebook looked a lot more futuristic than that. Yeah, it's, to it's Japan. They haven't caught up yet, I guess. We're going to attack power distribution facilities now. My goal is the computer securing a device in the computer system. Then cut off the power supply to the ceremony venue. How much time do we have? Rokudo and his friends should be heading to the ceremony venue by helicopter by now. I can't stand still for too long. Okay, let's do our best. <laughs> nice. Oh, freaking amazing. It's the second time we've just trounced through some guards with a truck. Let's go. Our goal is a room with a computer terminal. There's no time to fret. I understand. Okay, we couldn't save. So let's hope for the best. Uh, oh, we have... Oh, we have two orcs. It's... Uh, no, one is an orc. And the other is uh, the metal guy. Okay, let's change these weapons. Right, it's change weapon and change mode, right? Yeah. We want this big gun. With a smart gun system. Right. 
Uh, armor? You don't have to change armor, right? Right. Uh, the head. Uh, the head didn't get a new gun, I don't think. Yeah, she, he, he's still using this one. Also has a smart gun system, it's fine. Not gonna bother with the arcs. How will we get tired if we don't fret? Hey, someone is keeping up with, with save and raid on this channel. Oh, okay. That's a lot of people. Come on, show us what you can do with that gun. Ooh, dead. Very good start. You, you can't do shit, right? I'm pretty sure you're just gonna be dead weight as usual. Oh, easy shot. Good. Oh, you're gonna kill it. Really? Alright, I take it back. Easy shot. Decent roll. He dodged most of it. Easy shot. Good roll. He dodged some of it. It's not gonna die. Uh, that's bad. That's really bad. I knew the head was a dead weight, but holy shit. Yeah, that's also pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, remember, we, we tried to save, the game didn't let us. Uh, very, 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 very good. Very, very good game. Very good. Okay, this is dead. But he can't attack twice. And that's a very good shot. I swear, if this is Silver Moon... This is Silver Moon, this is before all the conversation. God damn it, game. You gave us two characters that we couldn't equip, we couldn't do anything, and they both suck. And the head. We can't save any, any, any at any point. We have to do this whole thing in a single run. Uh, if we keep failing, I might. This should go a little bit faster. Just try one run. I'll try a couple of runs. I don't like to admit defeat. But that was bullshit. Like, yeah, very good gun. You shoot once, then you die. I mean, for sleep's sake, I know. I know. Like, you can't even, like, talk about me not equipping my characters properly, because two of these guys, you can't. Like, okay. Uh, you should equip this. And you guys are already equipped with the best you can, right? Yeah, I can change. They don't have another weapon. Yeah, I was thinking maybe this door doesn't have enemies. Really? 
such a good weapon. Just... Just don't do anything. Can we kill one of them at least? What time is it? It's 11.30 here. It's uh, 3.30 here. Good morning. I usually stream until 3. Okay. I, I kind of position myself like this on purpose because I think they're gonna keep trying to shoot me through that and they are gonna keep missing. This guy's not gonna miss though. Can you not take two shots, both hit, and the thing just dies? It's not a thing, I know, but... Okay, this positioning was smart. And they're still hitting sometimes, because of shit. And of course, okay, at least he missed the second time. Yeah, that's very dead. Uh, what should I do here? Maybe just do this, even though we're gonna be missing most of the time. Because then we can at least keep healing. I think you have infinite med kits anyway. Really? Ah, shit. How can I shoot with Shun if I have to waste time healing? Can you not take all the damage from one successful roll? Eh, it's dead. They're useless. Uh, does that mean he doesn't need healing? Please tell me it means he doesn't need healing. Yeah, okay. Okay, can we slowly do this? Yeah, they're still hitting. Unfortunately, they're doing it to Shun, so Shun can't shoot. Ah, crap. And now they come. Seriously, what, what are you supposed to do? They just keep shooting. I don't know about you guys, this seems impossible to me. Because again, if the first thing you think is, okay, I didn't get enough money through the entire game, for some reason, even though you can't really farm, it's just whatever the game gives you, and maybe I didn't buy enough equipment, but half our team, you can't, like they just got here, it's whatever they're carrying, you can't change their equipment or anything. So it doesn't make any sense. 
And they're doing a lot worse than our main guys. Even the head, which is mostly useless. We don't have Mao for the healing either. There's, there's nothing else. Pretty sure they're already using the correct armor. And you can't see the game, of course. Okay, I think that door over there is a dead end. We can't leave through here. I'm gonna have to try this again. Can I risk doing this? Wait a second, let me check which one is it. Yeah, can I risk doing this maybe? Well, it can hit. I didn't kill. Uh, that's pretty bad. Maybe if we put these guys up front, they can soak some damage so Shun can keep shooting a little while longer. Yeah, no, they're going for the head. Building one shot. Building one shot. Almost killed. Now he, now he dies. No, he missed. Now he dies. Yep. Now it's up to this guy to do everything for everyone. Not gonna kill it. Nope. Oh, you, you get to take another shot? That's new. Okay, now you kill it. Now you only have to survive six shots. No biggie. You're dying on the first one, so yeah, it's fine. to ideas but if you guys have any but uh this is what happens when you you pick a game that people don't know you don't can't really expect much in the way of suggestions You don't even get XP, you can't... We're gonna navigate through those menus anyway, just in case maybe there is XP and we just missed it all this time, but I don't think there is. Those menus are just for equipment.
I really can't make this go any faster. Okay, let's take one close detailed look at the menus, but I don't think there's anything there that we missed. Uh, status. So over here you have the abilities on the left, the skills on the right, and you can only look at equipment, incantation, and ice pool. This dude has no magic. We can, uh, yeah, we can manipulate it to make it make it more resistant. Does it matter if we make him uh, do more damage or take less damage? Sure, let's make him resist more damage, I guess. And equipment is equipment. We do have to change his weapon, though. This one has two combat pull and hacking pull. Okay, let's do the same here. Just as an experiment, I guess. And no one has incantations or magic. Let's try this one more time. Hey, we do get less dice for attacking, but maybe we can dodge better. If we hide all the way back here, we don't get to attack anyone. How far can we we hide and still attack? Just here, okay. Trying to play as defensively as possible. Does the defense help me here somehow? Uh, that's a lot of dice. Uh, we take a little bit less damage, I guess. Maybe that's good enough to survive. But that's a good roll. It's not gonna be enough. Yeah, the head is down. Okay, we, we get to take another go with this. Uh, okay, you did not take damage. We didn't kill that. Did you take any damage? No. Can you finish this guy off? You can. What about you? You didn't take damage either. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's a very good shot. Yeah, he's dead. Hmm. 
<laughs> Why do you take two shots? I only take one. the offensive see if I can kill one of them at least for sure with all these dice right it has to kill it it's probably too late and we're gonna get killed right now because the dude had a very good shot yep this is saved because I'm only gonna give this one more attempt yeah that's a unfair difficulty spike and there is nothing what could we possibly do about this spent all of our money Yeah, it really worries me because I don't have any reason to think that anything is gonna change for this attempt. I'll try to make everyone go full offensive, see if we can get some quick kills to begin with. But I can't think of much more that I can try. And... And then yeah, then I'm back tomorrow for another stream and what do I do differently tomorrow? Do I load up some cheats? <laughs> do I save Scummit? Like, save state Scummit? Can't do that. Okay, full offensive and your gun. I don't know, maybe maybe this gun is not good. This one is. I'm gonna try using that gun instead. It doesn't change the fact that the additional characters are completely useless. Does it kill it? It does. That's easy. Okay, we ki we killed it, right? Okay, it's dead. Easy shot. Come on. You kill it. No, you didn't. Ah, uh, shit, I did a very good job at dodging. I'm gonna have to move this guy. Okay, have those two up front to soak the damage. And not enough. Okay, that was a good start. With three kills. Your smart gun must have had lag. Yeah, Orc is already down. I think they might revive if we survive the fight. But uh, not too hopeful here. Thank you for missing, and you should have missed that, come on. Ok, 
Okay, he's dead. Can we take another shot? Can we kill someone else? Not a difficult shot. Good rolls. He didn't defend. I think he's dead. Oh boy. Okay, kill D head, but don't kill Shun, please. Yeah, D head is dead. He's D head. It or something. Easy shot. Great roll. No defense. Okay, we killed everything. Do we get our characters back? Uh, what does it say? Uh, come on. What does it say? Tell me. The head avoided fatal, in fatal injuries and recovered from body damage due to the resuscitation patch. With the resurrection patch, metal avoided fatal injuries and recovered from physical damage. <laughs> Oric is dead. No. Okay, everyone is okay. Okay, we can. Okay. Mad kid, everyone. Shun doesn't need it. He didn't take any damage. Do they recover fully? Okay. Worst case scenario. If we fail, we can try this tomorrow with save states. I, I could put a save state here. Let's see how it goes. I haven't... I haven't save stated in on stream yet. Ah, that's a lot of... That's one more person than before. I don't reach anyone from here. I have to move. I think moving is bad for your aim. Five. Uh, yeah, not dead. No, wait. Can I do... Yeah, there's no good position to be here. Dead. He's dead. Okay. Good, good, good stuff. Good stuff. Can I come up here and kill one of these, maybe? Come on, that's good. Ah, he dodged. Ah, I had a very good roll and then he dodged. Ah, crap, this guy. Just dodging bullets. Ah, yeah, very good rolls, you piece of shit. I'm gonna have to save status tomorrow, there's no way. Come on, he did a one and you lose all of that, you... Oh, he missed, but now he dies. Yep, and he takes another shot because... Why not? Yeah, yeah, just... Really? <laughs> okay, chat. We're, we're gonna have to save state our way through the final part of the game. I don't think anyone can blame me for that. I'll have to look up what the shortcuts for that are, actually. That's uh, gonna be the first time I'm gonna be using save states on string, but... You guys... I, I think if we do this room, that's good enough. Right, this is the computers, I think. Liberal save state, yeah, just... I know it's frowned on, but whatever. I might tease, but I mean nothing by it. No, I know that in general people are... Anyone will look at this and say it's fine. It's not a matter of like, I need to get good. 
or practice. It's random rolling of dice, literally. So... We could be like five hours rolling dice here, trying to get the correct rolls, going through this dialogue every time. Or just save state through the good rolls. But yeah, we did a lot better with aggressive dice balls. So let's try that again. Uh, not quite a mouse pointer. It's, it's a tactical RPG grid, so you just move the around on the grid, it's not like the SNES or have an actual mouse cursor um, anyway, let's change everyone Now, for future reference, in case 10 years from now someone is looking for a playthrough of this game in English and finds this and thinks, how do you beat it and you see me using save states? If you put every dice roll to aggressive and you do this like 5 hours straight, you can't get lucky enough. Uh, let me look. Save state is F2. Those state is F4. So if I do this... Okay. Did you have grinded more XP? There's no XP. There's money. You can't grind money. Like, it's linear. It's fully linear. You get the money the game, gi the game gives you. Like, if I could have grinded, sure. Like, sign me up. That's my kind of shit. If I could get better, like, sure, that's, I have to get better, that's on me. But this is literally just getting lucky dice rolls. This is just betting. Now look at this. <laughs> Very interesting to not have grinding in a game like this. I kind of like it. It's interesting, but it's not well balanced. But look at the of, of the luck here. I just killed three guys without taking any damage. Four? Almost four. Just nice to see a different take than what most games do. No, that's that's fine. This kind of Japanese adventure game is usually very linear anyway. Uh, Absentia is just jamming over there. But sometimes I really wish they... Like, because this is a, as a technical RPG kind of reminds me, for example, of Fire Emblem. And I haven't played most Fire Emblems, I only played the first one. And that game has that kind of problem. If you, if you don't get it, the correct amount of XP on the cor correct characters, you can get to the end of the game and just be like, I can't beat the game because I there's, I think there's no way to farm on that game, but I could be wrong actually. I remember that I played that game and then I got to the final mission, and and I kept like, okay, the game kept saying you should make sure all of your characters are leveled up. You shouldn't. 
put all of your XP on the same character. And I'm like, okay, okay, I can do that. So I do every mission, I spread the XP as, as well as I can. Get to the final mission. I can't kill the boss, like no character can get near the boss without dying immediately. Uh, so I have to load the save and what I have to do is like get the main character, the one with the most levels, and get every single kill on the final level on the main character to level that character and only the character as much as I can. And then I can, uh, and then I barely managed to kill the final boss. I could have just have okay, you spent 20 hours on this game, 30 hours, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to start from scratch and do better. Shouldn't have listened to us when we said you shouldn't just overpower one character. Okay, everyone is alive. Let me test. This is okay. The XP system from the tabletop game is rather slow. It comes after a story, so just advancing through money does also align with the tabletop game. I don't have a problem with that, honestly. Not necessarily slow, but you won't see it during the campaign. Sounds like you got bad advice from the game. Uh, the more you, you you just noticed, well, I guess it's it's small. One day, after I've gotten filthy rich with streaming, which is never gonna happen, of course, I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna. I have to. I would have to change my setup, but I'm gonna have a, a green screen maybe someday, and have the modes show shoot behind me. But I happen to have a TV here, so I wanted to use it. So yeah. If you if you post like ten emotes, yeah, that happens. And if more people are doing that, they start to pile up. They don't fall off. There is a ground here holding them. Uh, did I delete the ground? I might have deleted the ground. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the ground is was supposed to be there, but I'm messing up with it because I wanted I've. Infrequent emoting, I didn't notice. Yeah, no, there's not a lot of emoting in my chat yet. Yeah, if you just want it's bigger, yeah, it's stuck on the ground there. It's going to slowly buckle down under its weight and disappear. And the big ones, yeah, if it is just one, it's bigger. If it is a bunch, then they are smaller. And I've actually adapted this system for save and read. The donations are gonna drop down as big numbers in here. <laughs> and the emotes are gonna hit the big number. And they're gonna nudge it a little bit, but not enough to drop it. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff I do instead of sleeping. <laughs> Dead. I yeah, just, you just gotta get lucky. That's all you have to do. Just get lucky. Dead, I think. Yep, we just killed two right away. No, this guy is dodging like a dodger. I stay up there. I think it depends what is on the screen because the enemy characters on the front of the box sort of make the emotes blending. <laughs> that, that, that one is very noticeable. It depends on how busy the box art is. For save and read, I'm gonna have the background here. It's not gonna be very busy at all. Can I hit anyone from here without a truckload of penalties anyway? Oh, we can. He's dead. Good. Right 
Right, you can't hit anyone from there. Do I want to do this? Yeah, sure. That's easy. Okay, lots of damage there. Maybe I can kill this guy like this. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, those added characters are not good at all. So I did good in upgrading my characters. They're doing a lot better than the, the ones the computer gave us. I'm surprised. I, I'm surprised I never noticed. I do. I am surprised as well. Because it's movement where you don't expect it on the screen. I don't want to have it, it covering the game. But some people do that, it's fine. People, I've, I've talked about this before, you can do whatever they want with their overlays. But I don't like to cover the game with stuff. A lot of little emo emo display things don't show the animated ones, as pretty cool that yours does. Or that you're doing a different thing. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. It also, it took me a lot of work, but it also supports Ranker Faces, or whatever the other one is called. Only the global ones, because I haven't done anything specific to my channel. Now, this guy is almost dead, I think, so I, maybe I should kill this one. And let, oh, that's difficult. Oh, we missed. Okay, we got another chance. Let's try this one. Uh, ah, not enough. Ah, come on. Seven. You upgraded the three to a seven. BTTV, yes. I like to pretend. Uh, it supports it. That's what matters. Okay, let's try again. Again, it's just luck. Uh, wait a second. No, yeah, it's better to do it like this. I thought maybe going around might be smarter. Maybe. Let's give it a... Ah, but we can't reach from here. Or from here. Okay. What about cover? What if you stay in the first quadrant and let them come to you? We've tried that on that other room. They still hit you, it's not that good. There you go. Like, I could stay here, this should be cover. I mean, I can't even hit... Well, I can hit this. With a lot of penalties. But that other room had absolutely zero cover. Jesus, eight dodging? Seven. This is a... Seems like a harder room. A co a cover has worked a few times for us. It is working right now. It's just not very... You can't see it. You can see now that combat has happened, but not when positioning yourself, so... Yeah, that guy is going to town, he's just gonna kill it anyway. <laughs> Ow! Jesus. Very difficult shot. Yeah. Oh, you can take another one. It's only gonna get worse. Oh, we got it! <laughs> okay, maybe we can finish this guy up. Very difficult shot. Uh, too much defense. Ah, almost. Well, some of them are walking instead of shooting, which is good. Uh, 
Okay. Let's keep trying from cover. Yeah, we're missing. Come on, you can kill this guy. One, six, we killed it. Okay, that was barely one damage. You only have one guy trying to shoot and he got a hit. You piece. Okay, maybe we can just use a med kit here. And keep shooting from this. Two, two, he takes damage. Okay, we are manipulating them. Okay, good, 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 very good. Can we hit the other one as well? This is a bit risky. There we go, it's dead. Good. As you guys are noticing, I'm not save stating during the fight. Because I think that's just too much. Just saving to avoid having to do all the dialogue again. Okay. Can we reach from here? We can reach from further back even. And that's why you fail. Safe state have every role like pro gamer. <laughs> ah, that's that's too much. Come on. And everyone gets up. Uh, this is wrong, but I guess. Does anyone need a med kit? Okay, let's put down a save. But I think this should be it. Right somewhere in here. Come on, this, this has to be computers, right? Are you telling me we this room is another room we, we need to uh, here we go it's a very very specific terminal I found it we should be able to use this device reinforcements hurry we're on guard for rein uh, hurry hurry or we're on guard for reinforcements so is this a hacking scene? I won't take much of that much time. Oh, it's a hacking scene. Get ready everyone for the low quality FMVs. <laughs> Look at this, this is pretty good. Did you do it? Uh, maybe they don't have space on the disc for another hacking scene. Mission complete. As of to Rudoku and his friends. Alright. Oh, they're already... Man, look at this. It's all the orcs sacrificed on top of the altar. Like making a circle. We don't have the ones in the middle with the blood. And, and the guards just looking. Man, this looks so sick. What's going on? And again, I really like this style of using the palette well that they have to work with. And just do something that looks almost monochrome, but have these splashes of color. I really like this style. I don't understand. Anyway, don't let your guard down. Ah, yes, the lights went off. Right. <laughs> this is pure head. The arrow pierced the heart. I repeat, the arrow pierced the heart. The ego has left its nest. Man, this looks so good. Freaking Arnold. Repeat. <laughs> I was joking, game. Repeat. The arrow pierced the heart. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna quill cool the eagle has landed. Yeah. Yeah, Vulture. Roger that. Man, they, they never... They talked about so much shit. They never never said these, uh, like, code names. Rakuto san Yes. I can, I can see it from here, too. Looks like it's our turn. Yes. Aren't you scared, Mo? What, because I'm a girl? Oh, are you worried? I've become accustomed to being dangerous. Let's get dangerous. Fine then, let's go. Uh, yes. He wanted for her to be scared so she, he could hold her hand or something. Nice. <laughs> oh shit. Are those emergency lights? Is the enemy fight back? Oh, look at the evil guy right here. The potato has baked. Now it's the time to offer the final sacrifice, which is Mao, which means like this is exactly what they needed. The final sacrifice of a mage to cause the earthquake. And we just deliver it to them, which we already knew because he did say he needed Mao for a sacrifice. But the characters never realized that sort of stuff. They could have just chilled at home. Born with the power of the earth and the blood of Oryx. Bring me the power promised in the great prophecy. This would be a very nice time for the very powerful spirit to show up. <laughs> Look at his face. Whoops. <laughs> we brought Mal to be sacrificed. Oops. <laughs> Shoes. <laughs> this is supposed to be a very tense, climatic moment. This translation is not helping. The power promised in the prophecy. Now is the time to cause a great disaster and make the earth rumble. Surprised. This is the perfect audience for the climax. He's talking to chat. Man, look at the art dump at the end. Chief, are you okay? Should be fine. However, didn't expect it to come by now. If I had been a little faster, I could have saved this poor orc's life and prevented my ritual. If you had been faster, you could have saved this orc and prevented my ritual. It's a completely, completely regrettable story. Ha 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 ha. Good. I'm not going to say something stupid like throw away your gun. Let's have a great show for you too. The power gather on the stone tablet will soon be released. The sight of the city being destroyed must be truly spectacular. He is on the city. He knows that, right? Take a close look. And I will die knowing my own powerlessness. Oh, he knows he's gonna die, okay. And I was thinking to herself... There's an incomparable amount of magical power gathered here compared to the last time I saw it. That's it. Are you saying that everything is too late? 
It is pretty late. What exactly have we done so far? Mao. Mao yo. Yeah, that's the spirit. I told you guys about the spirit. Awaken to the great spirit's principles, shaman. Can you hear my words? Eh, it's you. They could have used the better song for this part. An orc shaman I met in an underground village. Oh, it's not the spirit yet. Okay. Will you help me? But it's already too late. No one can stop him. Are you okay? It's not over yet. Mao, you too lend your strength. Release the hidden power of the Great Spirit. The power of the Great Spirit? What should I do? What should I do? You should have told me this before we left. Think about the spirits that live in the city. Ooh, her monologue from the start of the game. That none of you remember, shame on you, chat. The power of the great spirit that controls all spirits. In order to entrust myself once more to the power of the great spirit, the power of spirits I see at that time. I have your flesh and I will manifest once more. Yeah, on the first or second mission there was a spirit that possessed her. What is that? Why is nothing happening? The magic power is weakening. The ritual should be perfect. The simulations! Leave my flesh out of this eel. <laughs> What on earth is missing? Rokudo, defeat him! Okay, this is gonna be the... The fight. But Rokudo should be OP, right? Four guards. Okay. Time for a save. Do we kill the guards first? I think we just go for the main dude over here. Uh, Aaron, Aaron Dill. Why can't we shoot Aaron Dill? Okay, we can't. Blood armor. Oh, we didn't change the dice. Mm. Oh, who is this? This is mute, she doesn't have weapons. She can punch or cast spells. Okay. Let's do... this should be a power... Ball, maybe? Over here? I don't think it's gonna hit Elendil, but... Let's see if something happens. Nope. Man, spells in this game are useless. Ah, uh, that's a difficult shot. That's a good success. Is it dead? It is. One success over half her health. Okay, at least he missed it now. Yeah, she did a very good job at dodging, but not good enough. Okay, can you heal? Can this magic that I spent all my money on work? 
Nope. Just... Of course not. Whole game. Difficult shot, no hit. Uh, can't I use a med kit? Are you not gonna give me time to do that? Eleven, holy crap, okay, med kit, med kit, med kit. And as usual, Rokudo just carries the day. Much easier than the other fights. Why is nothing happening? My theory must be correct. The ritual must have been a success. And yeah, that's the... The other runners, except for the kids. Yeah, here they are. Stay strong, it's dangerous here. Evacuate for now. It's... Stop talking. A stone tablet, great prophecy, why don't you answer my call? Is there not enough blood? We don't have enough wizard blood. Yes, it must be so. Uh, wh what? Shit, <laughs> it's gonna kill the mage because of the great, great prophecy. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay, someone died. It's finished. It's finished. Ha ha ha. <laughs> okay, why are we still going? We're not supposed to kill this guy, We're supposed to kill this guy, right? Well, we can try. Well, you don't do anything, you just use a med kit. Okay, Rakuto carry the team. Your back must hurt from carrying so hard. There we go, piece of shit. Oh, they are fighting us. They're not very good, but they're fighting us. Seriously? Ah, that's not good. Come on, you, come in here. Soak the damage. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, can you please heal? I invested so much money on this. Exactly for this moment. Okay, thank you. Keep going, keep going. One more, come on, can you do one more? It would be so good if you did. Nope. <sighs> Mana bolt? I don't know. They never hit this magic. Uh, 
Uh, that's difficult but doable. Nope. Then she gets drained. Okay, can we get closer for a better shot? Uh, that's still difficult. But we got a little bit. And this is his friend. He doesn't want to kill his friend. Remember, Rock Crusher. You had a brother. For, for me, I don't have any siblings. I have been alone since I was born. I'll kill everyone who gets in my way. I got tired quickly. I I have to keep going. No matter what happens, you have to keep going. I was so pissed! <laughs> the one who let me escape from this town and set me free a long time ago. Remember, Rock Crusher. You had a brother. I don't have any siblings. I've been alone. I'll kill everyone. It's just repeating the dialogue. Eh, it's not gonna work, I guess. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Alright, can you understand the language of lead, at least? Yep. Alright, do we get an ending now? Hey, look at this. Man, this, this silhouette against the moonlit sky. Did it finish? A huge spirit seals away the magical power. I want to, I want this is the end of the game. I want to see what they're talking about. Come on. Come on. Come on, Google. You can do it. I translated it as a name, so I don't know what it's actually supposed to be. Why did you do this for? The same thing. The power of the spirit disappears. What on earth happened? Uh, an earthquake! An earthquake is happening! Cool. What is it? Come on! It's still going, chat. Someone broke into your, our computer and shut down our system. I uh, took advantage of that and was eliminated. Oh, the kid, Trinity. What? Trinity is still going. Look, there are characters on the terminal. It's not over yet. <laughs> the hell? Earthquake? Did that attempt to stop the ritual fail? Eh? The lights are back on. This looks so good. The lights have returned to normal. Reinforcement will, will arrive if we don't hurry. Rokudo, stay strong. If you don't hurry, the enemy will come. Rokudo, stay strong. Yes. 
What is that? It's the scheduled time. I'll collect it now. Please, hurry. Mal? Have you finally realized? Let's run away from here. Understood. Go up first, I'll secure it. Properly, come up. On the little thing being pulled into the helicopter. Hurry up, Rokudo, hurry up. He's not going. Rock Crusher. And the guards arrived because it took too long. It's a thief! There it is! Uh, that must be get him or stop. Uh, come on, Google. Uh, bye. It's translating it as bye. Let me do a refresh here on the Google thing. Yeah, he jumps in, he, they start shooting, and they fly away. The earthquake has subsided. Was it successful? Here, Spearhead. Is it Shun? This is also funny. The operation is over. The ritual has been thwarted. Ellen Zill has also been defeated. Please retreat immediately. He must be a green. What's wrong? The operation is over. Let's withdraw. We did it! Congratulations. <laughs> Dude doesn't even know what we're doing. <laughs> I wonder what would happen for a while. Yeah, that's right. The earthquake has subsided. It seems like we made it through somehow. Is that right, Rokudo? Rokudo? Back to Silver Moon. Just watching the news. Before dawn today, earthquakes are observed in various places in Tokyo. Although the shaking continued for a relatively long time, the seismic intensity was very small in various places. This earthquake did not cause any major damage. In addition, the epicenter of this earthquake is thought to be around Haneda. As mentioned above, this earthquake is very distinctive. Speaking of distinctive, could you please tell me more specifically? I agree. To summarize, one thing is that the shaking of the earthquake lasted for quite a long time. You, are, you just said that, you're not summarizing anything. And the effect is only affecting the urban areas of Tokyo. Will something like that happen? I see. I don't know who is talking here actually. I was also in the studio at the time of the earthquake. I was starting to worry about how long the shaking would continue. There are various opinions regarding this earthquake. What do you think is the reason? I'll have to do more detailed verification from now on. 
it would be best to consider the possibility of a magical earthquake. Is it magic? Welcome to Circus Network. Early morning today, a shooting incident occurred near the Aztec Expo venue. Aztec Expo Secretary Company. According to S Technology, five people dead, seven injured, mainly venue security guards. The victims' names and other details have not yet been released. After the shooting, the criminal group is on the run. It appears that as technology security department is in charge of bringing the incident under control. The motive of the perpetrator group is unknown. It appears to be a terrorist activity related to the reuse issue of the Haneda site. Can we save? We can finally put down a save. It's still scenario 7. Alright. We can talk to the bartender. Welcome back. Finally, yeah, that's a very long time without saving. I heard about your success from Mr. Osafune. Thank you for your hard work. <laughs> I'm glad my city is not completely destroyed. Looks like we made it through somehow, but I don't feel safe though. Speaking of which, what happened to Mao? Uh, she said she was going to stop by Tokado. She'll probably show her face soon. Tokado, her, ma her master. I see. For now, I'm glad that everyone is safe. Rokudo is still brooding. What happened, Mr. Rokudo? You don't seem to be feeling very well. Would you like me to make you something? Uh, that's right. Mr. D had as well. Did something happen? Hmm? What about me? I'm fine. Stay tuned <laughs> for more information, I guess. Is that so? It's, you seemed to have been deep in thought ever since you see, I saw you. That's not true. I'm always like this. Phone is ringing. Yes. Silver Moon. Yes. Uh, he is here. I got it. Mr. Shun is... I'm on the phone. Oh, Shun's old employer. Saigusa-san. No, this is the guy from... Yeah, he's the old employer. He's the guy from the Japanese branch. The guy that had been captured and we just ignored. I hope you are okay, because we didn't do shit about, about you. We went in, killed everyone, rescued everyone and just forgot about you. Somehow, I'm still breathing with my own lungs. Always better than breathing someone else's, I suppose. More than that, Ellen Dew is dead. I don't know who did it, but I feel like thanking them from the bottom of my heart. And yeah, that's above all. First of all, I'd like to say congratulations on your return. We each moved with our own motives. I didn't do it to save Saigusa. Saigusa must be aware of that, but... Have you confirmed Dylan Deal's death? Yes. By the time uh, he was recovered by the emergency team, he had already died. There is no doubt that it is him. Is that so? So, what team of runners did Ellen Deal employ? 
A female mage named Flare Wind was shot to death at the ceremony venue. However, the remaining members Black Swan, Rockbreaker and Trinity are missing. Surprised? Several other magicians involved in the ritual have also disappeared. They probably, they probably fled because they were afraid of being punished by the security department. We are also looking for them, you'll find out soon. Is that so? This, this. According to reports, those who stopped the ritual were very effective. Thank you. I would definitely like to ask them to do a job for me. That's all I wanted to tell. It was fun to talk to you after a long time. What's wrong? Ellen Dew is dead. Yes. That's what I heard. But apparently the runner team that worked as his minions is still alive. And Rokudo is surprised. Because that involves Rockbreaker and Mao is at the park. Even though it happened just recently. It feels like it's been a long time since I've been back to this town. I didn't put it into words, but... When I entered the Pyramid of Ritual Magic, I was prepared to never come back. But I should be relieved when everything is over. My heart is strangely restless. The ritual failed. With the voice of the Orc Shaman, the power of the Great Spirit was awakened. The power I've felt once before. A power that I can't touch alone. That power sealed Ellen Deal's ritual. And Ellen Deal also fell, and there was no one left to play the ritual. We know all of this. We certainly saw it happen. Yeah, we did. But I could definitely feel it until then, the power of a huge spirit suddenly disappeared. That simmering in the dark corner of my heart. Did we really thwart Elendil's plan? I won't say it in words, but my friends may be battling the same anxiety. How maybe the spirit sacrificed itself to stop the ritual? I'm home, Grandma. Oh, you're back. Yes. You're back in the right place. Uh, killing is coming. The girl. I don't know her name. I never know her name. Yeah, here she is. Welcome back. I wanted to go too, but I think it's a little late. Eh, is that right? And calls her by her name. But if there had, if you were there, it might have been easier to settle the matter. Ah, that's not true. More than that, Grandma, there's something I want to ask you. What is it? When we tried to stop the ritual, I felt the great power of the spirit. If I didn't have that power, maybe I didn't make it in time. So she's asking if maybe they weren't the ones to stop the ritual. I told you about the orcs I met in the underground village, right? 
The shaman who was leading the orcs called out to me. To release the healing power of the great spirit. The power of a great spirit, huh? No one has yet explained all the principles of spirits. There are still mysteries that even I can't reach. But I've heard stories like this before. As you know, spirits live in cities. However, over time cities become part of Mother Nature. Gathering the thoughts of the people living in the city and the creatures that live there. And the city. It is said that before you know it, you will be imbued with the power of a great spirit. The great spirit that rules over all the spirits of the city. It's definitely the power of, of spirits, but it's a power that even we shamans can't touch. That is... Probably not. I don't know what you said that before. The Ark Shaman you mentioned may be familiar with that mystery. If possible, I would like to talk to him once. Okay, either this is heading towards another... Chapter? Scenario? Or this is like the slowest climb down from a climax. That is not completely necessary. We'll see. That orc saved this town. However, it is a spirit with enough power to negate even the power the powerful e to negate even the power of powerful ritual magic. That's a lot of power for a single sentence. I hope nothing happens to the Orc Shaman who summoned it. We're gonna talk about the tablet again. Those who take away... Then the earth will not rumble. Those who steal the power of the sun will fall or trials will end. Yeah, that's right. What is it? It's about that prophecy. Without the power of that spirit, the ritual would have been successful. And if that Orc Shaman had awakened the power of that spirit... The power of the Earth and those who inherit it, I mean that Shaman. The Mao to fulfill the prophecy... All you have to do is dedicate that shaman. If someone noticed that... If there was someone that noticed that... Ellen Deal's plan, maybe it's not over yet. Ooh... Maybe if you... If they kill the Ark Shaman, they can still do it? Wait, is this not over really? I'm going to the underground again. To that village. Wait, Mao Chan. Shall I accompany you too? Yes? Why not? Yes, please. If only the survivors of virtual magic had realized this. I do not know what will happen. Mm, yeah, leave it to me. <sighs> when I return to my room like this... You can feel that you have survived again. To that runner team, what is survive what is surviving to that runner team? 
it wasn't very pleasant news, but... We can't save. Okay, let's look at the monitor. Huh? Again, we can't save. Did the device start up on its own? That shouldn't be the case. What is this? All prophecies have been revealed. There's nothing you can do anymore. Destruction and disaster to this city. It can't be those surviving runners. Yes. Uh, I understand the meaning of the prophecy that Elendil said. The underground orcs may be in danger. I'm going... I'm going there now. I also received a strange message on my computer. Maybe it is just a small fears. Apparently there are people who haven't given up on earthquakes yet. It seems better to hurry. I've already informed the Rudoku and the others, and they'll go with me. What should a... what about the head? As expected this time. Even if I go, it doesn't seem that I'll be of much help. I'm praying for your safety here. Is that so? Yeah, the thoughts and prayers. What? If that girl is there, I have a hundred power. Please be careful. Welcome in, Raiders. Uh, thank you for the raid, Captain Clever. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Welcome in, Raiders. I'm Copert. I'm a variety retro streamer, and I'm trying to finish this game. And it's been going for like two hours past the time I thought it would have ended. And we're still getting more twists, and it's still going. Uh, hello, Captain Clever. How's it going, my friend? Yeah, it shouldn't be here still. It should have been too bad two hours ago. But the game is almost finished, I swear. Uh, what were you playing? Wingspan? I've heard of that game. Was it fun? How did it go for, for you today? And yeah. Here we are, back, on, back underground. Can I save now? Nope, you can't save. Too critical of a moment. You played some fun matches. I haven't played that game yet. Just against a dumb AI. Plenty of good, all this stuff. A dumb AI can be very fun. For sure. Anyway, for those of you that... I should talk about the game a little bit. This is Shadowrun for the Sega CD. Which I didn't know existed. Like a month ago. And it's a very interesting game. It's a traditional Japanese adventure game. Like, say, Snatcher. But it has technical RPG elements. And walking scenes. And it's going for way longer than I expected. And it's it wasn't released outside of Japan. There's no fan translation of it. I'm using Google Image Translate with a homemade script. You can see the translation up there. We're translating as we go. So it's a lot of reading. It's not my usual kind of stream, but... Yeah, it's a lot of reading. <laughs> anyway, we can look at the surroundings, I think. That is... Yes, surroundings. The hole still hasn't closed, so maybe it's the work of those runners. Yeah, it seems like that. Yeah, they're back here to kill the Orc Shaman, I think. Apparently, it seems like they had no intention of getting off the stage yet. And I do think it is near the end, because... You can't save the game. What about Osafune? Uh, we have been con I, we've contacted him, but uh, I we can't afford to wait for his help. We just do what we we have to go with what we have. 
I take it at least the Anvil of Dawn finish at least. Yeah, we finished the Anvil of Dawn last Friday. We had the opportunity to look at all the different endings. And uh, as I've mentioned plenty of times, that easily became my favorite, one of my favorite dungeon crawler games. Just fantastic stuff. At least Anvil of Dawn finish at least. Yeah, that's a paddling, Captain Clever. That's right. Besides, I always don't have time. And yeah, we're always out of time on this game. Is that so? Okay, let's hurry anyway. Yes. Okay, no walking. Yeah, the village is burning. We can't save. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god. That's terrible. Why did they have to go this far? Same dialogue. Let's talk. That's a good time to stop and talk. Yeah, no, the village. With the orcs just trying to live away from humans. Is it too late? I, we haven't decided to give up yet anyway. Let's find a way to survive. Same dialogue. Can we look again, maybe? No matter who did it, I don't think I'll be able to forgive it. Yeah, you shouldn't. Well then, who will survive? There's nothing but rubble and dead bodies. Uh, uh, okay, someone is still alive. Someone is there. Where is it? Oh, one of the orcs, but not the shaman. Stay strong. Uh, those guys with guns attacked me again. Are there any other survivors? Or are there none? Wait, treatment comes first. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 a good thing to do. <laughs> he put a he put a little bandage on top of his portrait. It's over. It's okay if you leave it like this for now. <laughs> they just tacked it bandage on top of his head. What kind of people were attacking you? Yeah, here he is. I'm sure that's enough. Yeah, they came with guns. This is good now. I don't know because I wasn't careful at all. Uh, we... Let me see if I can get my phone to translate, but usually when it fails like this, the phone fails as well. We were all in an instant. We were, we were all killed really fast, I think. There may be other survivors. Please, uh, let's look for them. I think they wanted to capture the Orc Shaman to sacrifice him at the stone tablet. That would be my guess. Understood. Okay, shit. Skid out of the way. Still can't save. We can talk to the orc. So, what about the the chief? Where is the shaman? The chief was seriously seriously injured in that earthquake. He must have run away with his guards by now. Injury? Uh, the power... He, is, he used his power to protect the city. But uh, he had to yield too much power. He took all of that reaction into his body. So 
So where did he run away to? There's no place else to run to. Due to the recent earthquake, a large fissure was created in a part of the cave. In the depths, he should have gone into the depths. Now, I can only pray that he is safe. A rift caused by an earthquake. Okay, now we talk more. Yeah, she's back. I think she didn't find anyone. How many people were safe? I've done some simple repairs. But I don't know what happened when we you were attacked. You were lucky those trees aren't catching on fire. That would be very problematic. The entire city would crumble probably. I'm sure Zafuni and the others will send reinforcements in a little while. We don't have time. We'll leave the rest to you. Yeah, that's right. What, what, what we need to do is... Huh? We need to pick up the Orc Shaman. Can we save? No. I think you're not going to be able to save until the end of the game. It's a really big crack considering it was created by that earthquake. Yes. It seems quite deep inside. Careful with that conversation, friends. There is such a big crack. After all, we weren't able to completely seal off the power of the ritual. What does that mean? What if the same ritual was performed again? It means we might not be able to protect the city this time. Let's go anyway, find the shaman. Okay, walking scene, I think. There we go. If... Oh, combat, really? Oh god. Okay, let's hope for the best. I think if I don't move, I get a better shot. Good, that one is dead. Efficient. You can shoot, but I think she's better at melee fighting. So, this one? Yeah, she's decent. Really? Well, good enough, I guess. Oh, you, you get to take another shot. Good. Very decent. Walking scene into combat scene. Yeah, they're just all hands on deck, just throwing everything at us. And when our mages try to do that, they just fail. Yeah, that's right, that's what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to fail. Yeah, very, very, very lousy shot. Congratulations. <laughs> she jumps in the air and, and freezes for a while. While the dice rolls, that's a nice touch. Jesus, how hard can it be to hit this guy? Is that good enough? Is that good enough? It is. Oh, sh 
What? Okay, they're really far away. Dead, I think. Well, non stop. Yeah, this is. Uh, you weren't here for the previous scene. We had to restart and go through a truckload of dialogue like six times before we got it. It was a very difficult fight. But this is so far much more reasonable. You can't really farm and get stronger in this game. So it's more a matter of lack of proper balance in my opinion. I'm glad they tried to do this at this kind of combat in this kind of game, but it doesn't mesh too well, I think. Yeah, you're just nothing. I'm not gonna waste time trying to cast the spell, I know you can't. I hope it doesn't happen again. Yeah, that was... Eh, we spent like one hour on that and I thought the game was gonna end. And it didn't. And I don't want to. Because I keep thinking, if I stop now, I'll have to come back tomorrow just to play for like 10 minutes. And those 10 minutes have become 2 hours and 10 minutes so far. There we go. Oh, there's still a guy there. I didn't even see you. Hello. <laughs> really? Okay, now he's dead. Sitting guy. Guess he's getting no respect. I've tried to cast spells, I've really tried, I've never managed to do damage. 20 hours in, we can't do damage with casters, even the healing is shit. Half the time it fails. It wasn't well implemented in this game. <gasps> we did all of that and it's a freaking end. <laughs> Looks like this is the goal. Maybe you just have to believe harder, yeah, maybe. Did we make it just in time? But you saw the mages from the enemy team casting spells, they didn't do anything either. Is this the end? This is a scary atmosphere. That face looks familiar. One of the runner team hired by Alan Dill. Yeah, they should have the leader of the team, the troll and the kid. Yeah, Trinity is the kid. Look at the little, very little art. This is the Orc Shaman, it's not talking. And if this is the kid, please interrupt this artistic ritual of mine. To be still alive is to expose your shameful side and continue living. Or better yet, could you just die? Well, see, you have anti-magic resistance because you don't believe. That's a very good strat. I wish it worked in more games. You just don't believe in magic and you become immune. In any case, in that situation... I won't be able to summon the power of that disturbing spirit, though. It seems that the audience has also arrived for the order. We welcome Rokudo-san, Shun-san, Mao-san and Koro-san.
who are you? This will be your first time seeing me. Okay, so just as a mention for people who joined later, there's a running theory we chat here that this kid might be a dragon in disguise. It's far-fetched but not impossible, I just want to mention in case that it is the case. That's a very, very nice prediction to make. Freaking dragon. Yeah, this would be the first Shadowrun game without a dragon. If there isn't one. Nice to meet you, I'm Trinity. Hey, huh? if you were a child, you'd be quite cocky, wouldn't you? It's not correct to say child. Eh? Eh? Physical growth stopped a long time ago. This appearance is somehow convenient. Eh? For example, no one has figured out who I am just by looking at me. I swear to god, if, if we did... It was the same with Ellendale. You've probably never felt like you were being manipulated. Who the hell are you? Of course we did, we knew that he had hired two teams to compete to select which one he preferred before that was revealed to the characters. Shall I say that to you? Shall I say that you are similar to Mr. D-Head? This is our thing to say. What do you mean? Good way of speaking. Nice atmosphere. It's like a dead Elendil. Was Elendil not a dragon? Did you plan everything this time? That's right. Mausan and Rokudo-san. You must have seen it up close. When I unearthed the stone tablet with that prophecy written on it, I was there. Right, that was several decades ago, this kid is 10 years old, that's very suspicious. Those ruins were absolutely amazing. They were saying that a dragon was hacking into the cybernet. We did talk about that, and the, the consensus was that he had to Take the shape of a human to install a data jack, and now he can't shape shift out of it without destroying it, which is weird, I guess. I don't know, I guess we'll figure this out eventually. Numerous items with unknown magical power to lay dormant. Among them, the one that attracted me was that stone tablet. I made the items I found at the ruins as souvenirs. Contacted Elendil. I thought I taught him hints of prophecy, discovered methods of virtual magic, and set the stage for him. Actual and actually, Elendil did a good job. I had no idea. He had no idea that he was being manipulated. Are, are you that particular about predictions? That's because I was born an elf. Okay, so not a dragon. That too. You, I, I have a unique constitution that allows me to control the aging of my body. Alright, so a boring elf. But I cursed that blood more than once or twice. There is no way anyone can understand the weight of being more born a metahuman. Okay, boring elf. Of dragon. Yeah, no, I think that ship has sailed. They love to talk about ships in this game, like they've boarded a ship, so they have to go with it. Looks like we talked too much. You don't say! <laughs> you guys have been talking too much for the past two and a half hours. May I fulfill my wish? For example, they were talking. The prophecy they mentioned. The the shaman has repeated the words in that prophecy like six times already, and it's a long prophecy. 
Uh, this is your last chance to bury them. Ha! Huh. This is... Okay, we're gonna be fighting the other runners. That's it. The attack won't hit. No! A powerful magical wall has been built around him. <laughs> it doesn't seem like I need to bother. <laughs> Brill, you're too fragile. Okay, what can we do here? I don't know what we're doing. Can I hit anyone with magic? No, I can't. Can I walk any further? No. So, okay, don't do anything, I guess. Can you hit anyone? Oh, you can. Alright. Uh... Can you hit from there? No, you do have to go up a bunch. Uh, can I... Get in range if I use another gun? We're using the 227 here. Ah, so close. That's very unfortunate. Can I not move too close then? Weak humans. Oh, you can move again. Oh, now we can hit something. Let me only move as close as we have to, so they have to walk to hit this. Here? Yeah. Oh, crap. He dodged. This is the dangerous character right here. And he's taking a very good hit. <laughs> Alrighty then. That's just our good shooter. We don't need it. Yeah, of course I'm not gonna hit. Uh, everyone is coming. I'm so old now. Okay, at least you missed, and you missed again. You're gonna be casting spells, I don't care. They don't do anything. Ooh, some smoke. Big freaking deal. Ah, uh, we can't get in range to try and heal. I don't know if we... I, we can get in range to shoot. Uh, oh, this has... We, we can't get in range for a spell. We can't do anything. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, he's gonna kill the other girl. Yeah, goodbye. Okay, I think he's dead. Okay, that's the... Dangerous shooter on their team. I don't care about the mage, so I'm gonna move to shoot at the guard. The guard is more dangerous. I'm sure healing will work this time. Oh, we missed. Oh, here it comes. I'm sure that's gonna be the only mage that actually does damage. Missed. Missed. Uh, hit. 
Good hit. God damn it. Missed. Uh, the mage trying to hit the other mage. I don't know what the best course of action here would be. I can try healing. Yeah, healing... Uh, Rokudo is no guarantee that he will actually do anything. So I should try using the shaman to heal. Oh. Alright then. Let's see if we can actually heal for once. Nope, it missed. <laughs> the one time magic actually worked. Yeah. Freaking late. Okay. Mages might end up killing themselves. Come on, heal. Nope. Just fail. And take damage for failing. Now I have to wait for all of this. Another shot doesn't kill us just yet. How far back does this go if you wipe here? I have been thinking about that. Uh, hopefully to the entrance of this cave, that's my best hope. Okay, that mage is killing himself. Come on, heal you. God. It's harder to heal now? Why? Why is it harder? Oh, now you got it. Uh, it was a very weak success. Okay, that's a better success. Oh, shit, no. I'm kind of hoping they just kill her. We're just wasting time here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> She's still alive. No, no, she isn't. Wait, we couldn't save. If we're back to Silver Moon. Okay, so here's the deal. Before that fight, I put down a save state. I'm not gonna spend 30 minutes talking just to get there again. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry. I'm reloading the save state. That is 30 minutes of talking. And the thing is, we talked about this before, this is just... It's not a matter of skill, it's not a matter of patience and grind, it's just a matter of rolling the dice and getting lucky can we reach this guy? we can't maybe from here? no so it's better to not get too close 
30 minutes past in the blink of an eye. Yeah. This is the first time in, in the last... Like, I started streaming on... He's already dead. I started streaming back in December. This is the first time we've resorted to this, but... Uh, it's just dice rolls. I refuse to be punished by bad dice rolls for 30 minutes. Really? Speaking of dice rolls, do just misses. <laughs> and he says something. Where is Rock Crusher? What about Rock Crusher? I don't know. Did you kill him? What? Did you know anything about the traitor? He disappeared from the pyramid. However, there's no way you'll make it out unscathed of sustaining that many injuries. He wouldn't be able to survive after that many injuries. Even in, in the unlikely event that he survived. I will, he was blown away by the wind of cowardice and disappeared. Even though I paid so much attention to him, I didn't expect him to run away at the end. Huh? What does it mean? They're gonna keep going here. The guy's gonna kill our guys again. Miss, miss. Can I shoot at anyone? No. Can I cast a spell at anyone? No. We can't reach anyone. So we just do nothing, right? We don't need to heal ourselves. So, yep. And now he kills everyone again. Yeah, he gets a zero, changes into a three. Screw it. I'm gonna sit around for 20 minutes waiting for it to end again. Please hit that. No, we can't. Only this one. Well, I guess it will have to do. There, problem solved. I tell you, it's just. Some lucky dice rolls. Yeah, he just dodges. Yeah, that's the only guy that was dangerous. We didn't even get the dialogue. Ooh, we tickles. And he takes damage. Yep, and you just walk very slowly. I'm helping, I'm helping. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ah, really? Uh, maybe if I do this, then I can do this. And I can kill this one, and then I can proceed to shoot the other guy as well. Maybe hits, maybe doesn't. It's better than nothing. Come on, you can do it. Nice, nice shot, but he dodged. You did your best. Missed. Missed. Okay, this one should be dead now. Mage. Oh, he actually hit. But he didn't do damage and he took damage. I'm helping! I'll get there eventually. Okay, now he's the only one still alive. No way, I didn't think he would go this far. Looks like I'll do it a, a little, otherwise it's not interesting. Ooh, traditional Japanese villain. Looks like I'll have to be the one to deal with you. As a reward for working so hard, I'll make you suffer at the most. a little bit. Now this is gonna be more damage, right? Uh, no, no damage at all. Okay, he's a mage. And as usual, it's a mage, so it's useless. Doesn't actually do damage. I'm helping! So maybe don't try to punch it. Twenty-two home mages in the tabletop game aren't it is awful. I've heard they're decent. Like on the Genesis game they were reasonable, I suppose. Okay, that's gotta be good. There we go. Oh, he did something. Oh, he did something. Hooray. Congratulations. And now you die. Real damage, there we go. I... I will be defeated. Can't believe I will be defeated. There's no way a future, a future like that can be tolerated. W why? Alright, we're changing back into... Adventure mode. Ooh, Fate to Black. And we keep looking for the shaman. It's finished this time. Everyone is just quiet. Mouth stopped talking. Phew, I'm tired. 
<laughs> yeah, they're just silent mouth. You didn't do anything. You just kept walking. Stay strong. The enemy has fallen. We, we have to go quickly. Oh, the orc shaman. Please stay strong. Quick, turn into a dragon. Yeah, that would be a nice trick. Are you okay? Stay strong. Mao. Is it Mao? Yes. I'll close the wound right away, so hold on tight. Uh, don't worry about me. Then that, please listen to me instead. You know, I can heal you, you can get buried and then you can talk. You don't have to be one or the other. The power of the Great Spirit is getting further and further away. Due to the shock of being injured, I'm losing my ability to communicate with spirits. Uh, that, that can't be. But there's nothing to worry about. When an old shaman dies, a new shaman is born. My power will be passed on to my children. The kids? No, the adult ones. We are the children born among... They are the children born among the orcs of our village. The shaman continues to sham on. Sham on you for that joke. <laughs> to these kids? That's right. But now it, they are in human form. Uh, they might turn into an orc someday. But those children have inherited my power. Thinking about the children and those who are left behind. Yes, I understand. You can just turn into an orc. Yeah, uh, in the universe of Shadowrun, uh, after the awakening, uh, elves and... Dwarves are born. Orcs and trolls, they, are, they, are, they turn into those. If I'm not mistaken. It's been a while. I'm glad I was able to touch the power of the Great Spirit one last time. Uh, to help us. I don't know what the rest said. That's what I did for myself. I wanted to touch that power one last time. I can entrust myself to the spirits with peace of mind. Hey, stay strong! I too have lived too long. Let me take it easy. Let me rest now. Please be strong. Are you okay? What happened? Who is, what is left of Elendil? What about the Orc Shamans? Shaman, singular. It's all over. We managed to make ends meet. I've lost a lot of things. We have lost a lot of things. Yeah, the only uh, loose end is Rockbreaker. I see, you did it. Uh, we dug out a bigger bag than that. Let's introduce. These are the brave orcs who saved this city. 
Huh? Oh, they're all coming outside. They are? What on earth does that mean? Please tell me carefully. Oh, one of these days. Yeah, please, we don't need to explain everything again. Anyway, it's over. Orcs can't save the earth. What are you talking about? You're a dwarf. What are you talking about? Come on, let's go back. Look at him at his, at his little futuristic portable computer. Three months have passed since the incident. My friends and I think about that incident less and less. Such an amazing computer. It does look pretty good, not gonna lie. But it's not backlit, so he needs to have a lamp right to it. It's probably an, uses an old Game Boy screen or something. Even after that, my life remains the same. Exchange all kinds of information through the world of the Matrix. No matter how much we experience the mysteries of the real world, they are trivial compared to the wonders of the electronic world. Nerd! Dear GBA Diary, it seems so to me. Getting to know was a funny and mute was probably my biggest gain from this incident. How do they get along with humans? They suck. I feel like they taught me. I don't think humans and metahumans can understand each other. But since they and their friends are here, I will never despair. Ellen Dill and Trinity, who was controlling him from the shadows. Was it really revenge that defeated them? At first, I certainly had that feeling. I remember Shimon wanted to get revenge for killing his wife, woman, I don't know. It's not even clear now. But one thing is certain. I am now from the front I can face the best. What did I fight for and who did I fight for? They killed his person he liked, yeah, and her father. The time will come when we will know the answer. And he couldn't find his brother. I feel like I've been shown the thorns that stuck in my past. No, my little brother disappeared again. The guy is obsessed with living. I carved that in when I broke up with him. It might be like a curse. He will definitely appear in front of me once again. This is no longer a premonition, it has become a certainty. And no matter how our reunion ends, I won't run away. For me, this incident is just the beginning. Nah, she's just happy. Ooh, magic! I'm with Tokaldo's old lady. Obsessed with living seems like an okay hobby. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll leave today. I don't have anything else going on. <laughs> Yeah, she began teaching magic to the children of the village. Oh, nice. With this, I too will be able to have a disciple. Sounds fun. I feel a little proud and embarrassed about that. As the shaman said, all the children left behind have excellent, excellent qualities. No, don't teach magic. It's useless <laughs> they want to use again. That's a good point. Uh... If you have this much talent, either like that Orc Shaman, well, they will have great power. Will they? You spent the entire fight just walking. You couldn't even get in range to cast your magic. At that time, I should be able to touch the power of that great spirit again. 
I'm already looking forward to that moment. All right. Um, GG. Stop the timer. Thank you for the GG's, Captain Clever. Um, so, I think the game is pretty good. Like, the pacing is a bit weird. The, like... The story is good. And it's not told badly, it's just that they repeat too much stuff sometimes at the end. They repeat themselves too much on the story, but other than that, it's fine. The characters are uh, interesting. A bit cliche, but interesting. They have enough variety, I suppose. Very quick credits. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't look at me. Don't look at us or whatever. Um. So yeah, the attempt to have like walking scenes and theoretical RPG combat scenes was really interesting. I had not seen something like that in this kind of game before. I think it was a very worthwhile effort. And this intro text was really good as well. But ultimately I think it they didn't really add much to the game. Like as a, as a, as a, as a walking RPG game it's irrelevant because everywhere is just walking a straight line trying to find the exit. As the technical combat goes it's like, the, the dice rolling is really good, the combat is not bad, but the fact that you can't, like, see the items you have when you're trying to buy new items is really dumb. The fact that they have guns and upgrades that cost $10,000, we couldn't buy one of those because you can't farm money in any way. This intro is really good, by the way. Like, the part with the gun going out of focus. the reflection in the sword. Like, look at this. Getting into focus. And then the reflection. With the magic casting. I wish the magic was better. They had a lot of dice rolls. Dice rolls are fun. Uh, it's, it's, it's bad that the game depends on the dice rolls going your way. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't train, you can't get good at dice rolls. But... Yeah. Overall, it's a good game. I'm glad I've, I've played it. I have no intention of revisiting this. It's not like, okay, now I'm gonna view the characters differently. You want. Most missions you can't go to the shop to buy items. Most of the time you can't sell items either. But I'm glad I've played this, and uh, with this I've actually streamed all three classic Shadowrun games. That's probably all I'm gonna be streaming for Shadowrun, because I'm not going to, uh, to stream the Xbox One, that's for certain. All you need is more and more dice. Yeah, the game doesn't make it clear. Like, you cast magic, you have three dice, and that's it, there's no way to increase. And it's difficult to hit, so you don't get the magic to go, ever. So I think they did a good effort for by trying to add, add the theoretical RPG elements, but I think ultimately should, they shouldn't have done it. It doesn't really add much, it's very unbalanced. 